Black Diamond Football, Dominant Channel 19, Brad Cameron, Quint Smith live. WPA Stadium, Broken Bow, Oklahoma here for tonight's 4A4 district matchup between the Broken Bow Savages and our Salisaw Black Diamond. Stay with us. We'll be back with a little pregame and the kickoff after a few words from our sponsors. I wanted a funeral service that was meaningful and honored who mom was. Well, that's what I got. Mallory Martin gave that to us with flowers that she liked, her favorite music, even featured the quilt she loved to make. It was personalized, and because we used only the options we wanted, very affordable. I'm Blake Martin. And I'm Todd Martin of Mallory Martin Funeral Home in Creamfield. If you have questions about the options available for a special funeral service, please give us a call. Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory, Eastern Oklahoma's funeral home for over a century. What should we do? Better call our shelter agent. Yeah. Hey, Tom, you got a sec? Yeah, sure. We know what the weather is like in your area because we live in your area. Shelter insurance for your auto, home, and life. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Ask shelter agent George Glenn about shelter's competitive insurance rates. Hey, Bob Famous here for Blue Ribbon Salisaw, home of the low-priced cars, where we're always leading the way to save you money on your next new or used vehicle. <laughs> you should always think of our dealership first <laughs> when searching for the best value on your next automotive purchase. <laughs> so when you're shopping around for the lowest price, accept no imitations. <laughs> Blue Ribbon Salisaw, home of the low-priced cars. <laughs> Was that really necessary? My husband, Hank, never took life too seriously till our son was born. That day, he bought life insurance. There's no way I could send our boy to college without it. If there was one thing I could say to Hank, it'd be thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Hank. Life insurance you can use while you're still living. You are one lucky lady. Mm -hmm. Learn more from Agent Shannon Van in Salisaw today. I wanted a funeral service that was meaningful and honored who mom was. Well, that's what I got. Mallory Martin gave that to us with flowers that she liked, her favorite music, even featured the quilt she loved to make. It was personalized, and because we used only the options we wanted, very affordable. I'm Blake Martin. And I'm Todd Martin of Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory. If you have questions about the options available for a special funeral service, please give us a call. Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory, Eastern Oklahoma's funeral home for over a century. back ladies and gentlemen ready for the kickoff here Salisaw Black Diamonds on the road here at Broken Bow the old WPA Stadium they call it they call it Broken Bow Memorial Stadium but me and Clint we know better Jimbo Marcus you know Jeffro it's a uh, Memorial Stadium it's gonna be a good matchup tonight Hill Savages, they're having a rough season. They've been injury plagued. They're one and six on the season, coming in off of a uh, loss to Tulsa Rogers last week, twenty to sixteen. That, that's a tough loss. It is. It is. They're they're, they're taking their lumps this year. Tell you what, the Diamonds, good win last week, forty two fourteen over Steelwell Indians. Black Diamonds coming here ranked five and two, three and one in in the district. Tell you what, 
Kale Wilson having a phenomenal season. He's just 30 yards shy of the 1,000-yard mark through seven games. He had 213 yards last week on only 16 I'll tell you carries. what, last week it was unreal. Just, yeah, unstoppable. I, I, I was on Coach's Aid. I, I was looking around at some of the forums on there, and they were talking about him. And yeah. uh, just unbelievable last week, you know, on 16 carries. Yeah, 213 200, yards. Yeah, just racking it. Actually, actually you know, on the uh, in the paper they had him at 229, I believe, on 16 carries. That's impressive. That's our Locklear stats right there, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, which they're close. Scofus played a good game last week. He was 7 of 11 for 122 yards. Didn't, you know, he didn't have to do anything big, just efficient enough to keep the ball moving. And, you know, we didn't throw the ball in the second half anyway. He had a big lead. Yeah. On the season, he's 44 of 88, 550% per completion, 500, 693 yards passing on the season. So, and, you know, like we talk about every week, he gets better every week. You can tell he gets yeah. more confident. So, uh, you know, we're ready for this. Of course, like we said, this game, not all it usually has been. It's usually a <laughs> showdown for the district title. Broken bow down this year. We'll see Lewis out here to do the kickoff. Back to return, deep man for the Diamonds. Kale Wilson, he's going to field it at his own eight. He's going to bring it back up the middle. He's going to go right. He's got some room over there on the far side, 30-35. One got a beat, does it. Gone to the house. Touchdown, Wilson. Opening kickoff, Diamonds on the board. Wow. <laughs> 92 yards unofficially. What a return. That's what Wilson gives you in the special teams game also. You know, he's, that's, that's, not all, that's not the first time this year he's returned to kick. He had big play. Big play capabilities. A lot of speed. Got down that sideline and was gone. That so was Diamonds impressive. Diamonds on the board. 15 seconds is all it took. We'll see Rodriguez out to attempt the point after. They can get a football in here. Wilson might have kept that one. Put it, in, put it in his own personal staff. <laughs> he may well have. Put it in the old trophy case. So we'll see Rodriguez out here. The brown dozer to hold. Kicks up, and it's good. 11.45 left here in the first quarter. Diamond 7, Savage is 0. Salisaw Lumber now offers a complete line of Guardian fiberglass insulation to help you lower your home or business electric bill. Whether you want it blown in or batted, Salisaw Lumber will professionally install Guardian fiberglass insulation for you. Remember that good results begin with a solid foundation, and that requires the right materials for the job. That's why the pros and do-it-yourselfers trust Salisaw Lumber for selection and service. So the Diamonds, 15 seconds. Diamonds on the board. Just like that. 92-yard kickoff return for Kale Wilson. We're missing Locke tonight. He didn't make the trip, so we're we're going to be a little shorthanded on stats, so we're going to have to go with uh, – we're going to either have to find us a, a, a broken bow stat guy here somewhere or something. Well, I, I, got a, I got a buddy upstairs you? I made yeah. friends with earlier, we're a good. broken bow fella here. Good. So we got Josh Patel back to return for the uh, Savages. Tell you what, this roster is a it's a, a multi-pager. It's gonna be in the end zone, touchback. So the Savages will take over on their own 2011 45 left here. First quarter, diamond seventh, Savages zero. Whether your goals include college education funding, retirement planning, or reducing taxes, you've got options at First Financial Center. LPL financial advisor Marley Abel is committed to helping you reach your goals, whatever they may be. First Financial Center is located inside First Star Bank. Securities, asset management, and insurance products are offered through LPL Financial and its affiliates. Takes a snap. He drops back. Looks a lot of time in the pocket. He's going to launch it down the field. We've got a man out there. Chase along with the interception for the Diamonds. Going to get wrestled down at the Savage 47. So the Savage has dropped back to pass. That's number 14, Weaver, their quarterback. Drops back and just launches it. And good job by the Diamond secondary back there. Good job by Long playing the safety spot, being back there in coverage. Yeah. And just ball hawking. 
yeah. picking it off back there. Good the, job uh, by the Diamonds. Quarterback actually underthrew that one because the receiver was behind the defenders, but he underthrew it. So, therefore, he, yep. just, he gave that Diamond defender yep. the advantage on the ball and of just course, went Weaver, up and got it. Weaver's not their actual quarterback. He's uh, their starting quarterback for the Savages. Hurt, was He's injured. injured. They've injured got the first week of the season. So, they're down on the depth chart a little bit. Diamonds come out here, shotgun formation. Takes a snap to give to Wilson. He's going to run right. He's going to get around the end. He's got a lot of running room. Breaks in the open field, 30, 25. Breaks two tackles inside the 10. Gone. Touchdown. Unless they're going to call him out no, of bounds right inside the 10. What a run by Wilson. Called him out at about the 7-yard line, 7-8-yard line there, it looks like, on the far side. Wilson is good. He's going off. Yeah, these, this, uh, 30, about 35 yards on the carry good right one. there. This Broken Bow team, I was reading somewhere the other day where I think at one point this season they had 13 starters out with injuries. So, you know, that happens. There's it's not tough. a lot you can do. It's, it's, it's tough. It's bad. It's a tough season. Shotgun formation. Takes a snap. The give to Wilson. Lowers his head. Pretty good job by the Savage defense there. Not much on the play. Gain of a couple. Good diamond crowd made the trip over the mountain tonight. Yeah, they did. It's the pink. It's the breast cancer awareness month thing going on down here. They got the pink on the on the field. They got it on the mm -hmm. they got it on the banners over here. They got it. They got it. Oh, they got it on their handrails. I don't see much play. I don't see many players wearing pink though. Really. Diamonds take the snap. A little play action. Finds his man. Touchdown. Touchdown pass. Derek Scopus Harris to Harris for the touchdown. Well, the Diamond's looking sharp. Not even two minutes into the game yet. Diamond's going to be up by two touchdowns. Wow. Rodriguez on to attempt the point after. Brown to hold. Good snap. Good hold. Kick is up, and it's good. 10-40 left first quarter. Diamond's 14. Savage is zero. Tonight's game is also brought to you by Charlie's Chicken, where you can have an all-you-can-eat buffet seven days a week. On Fridays, enjoy their catfish buffet, and on Saturdays, their barbecue rib buffet. Charlie's caters for all occasions, dine-in or drive through It's Charlie's Chicken, home of the all-white meat chicken chunk. They're located at 720 West Cherokee, and you can phone them at 775-9816. Diamonds out to kick again. A minute and 20 seconds into the game, the Diamonds up 14-0. What are you doing over there? Hmm? What are you doing over there? I You're making know. a lot of robot sounding noises there. I know. <laughs> Kickoff team getting some work in early here. Yeah, they may get a lot of work in tonight. <laughs> they may well. S seeing that we're only... A minute and a half in. <laughs> Rodriguez with a low kick. It's going to be taken by the Savages inside the 10. Trying to get some room around the end. Not going to do it. Carr going to wrap him up and take him down at about the 15-yard line. Good tackle. Savages take over here. 10-31 left here first quarter. Diamonds in control early. 14-0. Go ahead and call us old-fashioned, but at First Star Bank, we still believe our customers deserve first-rate quality service day in and day out. We don't expect you to call and talk to a computer or a voicemail. As a matter of fact, we like to hear from you. We know our customers on a first-name basis, and we're not going to leave important decisions on your financial future up to bankers in another state. At First Star Bank, you'll find the old-fashioned personal service that can only come from a truly local bank. We invite you to come in and enjoy banking the way it used to be. Snap the give. No, Weaver going to keep it on a little read option. Tries to get around the end. He's going to pick up about three on the play. So it'll be second down. About seven here for Broken Bow. Shotgun formation, three receivers. Weaver takes a snap, the give. Back tries to get the end. 
Going to be across the 20, up to about the 24-yard line, so gain of about six on the run. That was number 11, Tyler McKinney, the running back for the Savages. It's Tristan Brown and Cale Wilson out on the tackle for the Diamonds. Try to get around the end, but nothing doing. It's going to be third down and one here for the Savages. Shotgun formation, three receivers here for the Savages. We're going to whistle. Whistle. It looked like the play clock. No, they're going to get a timeout before the play clock expired. So timeout on the field. Broken Bow gets one. 9-19 left here. First quarter, Diamonds 14, Savages 0. Wright Home Services believes it's more than heating, cooling, and electrical. It's a home and a family we're serving. We show our clients we care while providing professional, world-class electrical heating and cooling services in which we exceed our clients' greatest expectations. Call now for complete home heating inspection and tune-up. It's your home. Have it done right. Phone right home services at 866-607-2657. Third, and we'll get a third and one situation here for the Savages. 919 left here first quarter. Diamonds just coming out here and tell you what, they brought their A games out tonight. Yeah, looking sharp. Offset eye formation for the Savages, two receivers, man in motion. Takes a snap, the turn, the give. McKinney gonna get stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Looks like he fell forward for the first down. Good job by the Diamond defense there though. Not much on the play, gain of a yard, yard and a half. So it'll be a first down for the Savages. Four receivers here for the Savages. Shotgun formation. Weaver takes a snap. A little screen pass out in the flat. Complete across the 30. 35 still running loose football. Looks like it's going to be out of bounds. It was Josh so Patel, the running back, breaking some tackles out there. Yeah, or the receiver on the play out there. Patel's fast. He is. Looks like it, he fumbled it out of bounds, but it's going to be a first down for the Savages at about the 37. Good little run after the catch. Broke a few tackles. Picked up another first down for the Savages. That's probably... This is probably the best defense for the Savages here is just uh, keeping the ball out of the yeah, Diamonds' hands. Let the clock go. Yeah. Keeping the ball out of their hands. Three receivers here, shotgun formation. McKinney in the backfield, man in motion, takes a snap. The pitch to the receiver is Patel. The flag in the backfield. Looks like we're going to get a false start. Yeah. Indeed it, it was. Yep. False start false on the Savages. That's going to bring up a first and 15. First and 15, yep, for the Savages, three receivers. Takes a snap. Little delayed halfback give. McKinney dives up across the 35 to the 36, giving about four on the run. Chase Long and Tristan Brown making the tackle for the Diamonds. Some spotty cell phone reception down here, don't we? It is. It's causing some issues on our broadcast, I think, but we're yeah. doing the best we can here. Man in motion is Patel. Weaver takes a snap, zips it out. He's got his receiver complete. Up to across the 42, close to the 44. Chase Ritchie out making the tackle. Good job from his defensive end spot out on the sideline making the tackle. Gain of about five on the reception for the Savages. That was number 15, Daquan Cubitt with the catch there for the Savages. Bring up third down and five. Third down and five. Savages. Three receivers to the to the left. 
Kenny in the backfield. Weaver dropped back to throw. Looks to rid of it. He's got his man complete. Across the 50 into Diamond Territory to about the 48 yard line. It's called the 47 yard line. Well, I don't know how he got that one in there. He threw it, looked like right over the shoulder of Cale Wilson. I don't know how he threaded that one in there, but he got it in there for the first down, though. Good looking throw. <laughs> yeah, it was. That was Cupid again, the receiver. Looks like he got two receivers he throws to Patel and Cubit. Yeah. Three receivers. Trips left again. Shotgun formation. We got a whistle. Broken bow going to use another timeout. So the Savages burn their second of the half. 6.49 left here. First quarter, Diamonds 14, Savages 0. The Scofus Law Offices are a proud supporter and sponsor of Black Diamond Football. And everyone there would like to wish Coach Benson and his players and staff another successful season. If you have legal questions, give Forth a call at 775-5546. Scofus Law Offices are located at the corner of Creek and Elm, just west of the courthouse in Salisaw. Whether you've been hurt in an accident and been charged with a crime or have other legal needs, Forth and his staff at the Scofus Law Offices are here to help. Again, their number is 775-5546. Tonight's game is also brought to you by the agent Mallory Martin Funeral Home, a family-owned and operated business since 1938. We take pride in being one of the oldest firms in the state, but also offering modern services and products. Please come visit our friendly staff and newly remodeled facilities. We are honored to serve families of Sequoia County for over 70 years. We offer contemporary options blended with traditional customs. Our family is serving yours since 1938. Cherry's office right here for the Savages Shotgun Formation. Direct snap. Not fooling the diamonds at all. We got a flag coming yeah. in here behind flag, the play. I'm not sure what this was. It's going to be a false start on the Savages. I don't know how you call a false start once the play's already over, but hey, we'll take it. They did it. <laughs> we'll they take had, it. They accomplished it. Yeah, we'll take it. That'll make it another first and 15. The Savages shooting themselves in the foot here with the penalties. Will be first and fifteen for the Savages. Savages showing that showing they can throw the ball a little bit. Short passes. Four receivers here. Four receiver spread. Shotgun formation. McKinney in the backfield. Man in motions. Patel takes a snap. A little read option. Quarterback going to keep it up to the fifty. So he's going to get to midfield. Gain of about four on the run. Not much there for Weaver. There's big Sam Coulter in there on the tackle for the Diamonds. So bring up second down and 12. Three receivers to the right. Weaver drops back. Gets rid of it. He's got his man. It's Cubit. He's going to have the first down, lowers his head up to the diamond 35-yard line. Good catch and run there. 15 yards for the Savages. That was a good play. Chance Blunt, Chase Ritchie combining on the tackle for the diamonds down the field. Savages moving the football here. Three receivers to the right. Weaver in the shotgun. Takes a snap. Looks. Plenty of time. He's going to try to escape the pocket. He's going to get hit and sacked. Good Nothing job. By the, good job by the Diamond defense. Yeah, Hunter Reed. Hunter Reed stepping up, making the tackle. So that would be a loss of two on the sack. Let's, give him, let's make it a loss of three. It's going to bring up second and 13. Trips right here for the Savages. Takes a snap. Swing pass out in the flat complete. McKinney with the catch. Not much. Gain of about four. Back up to the uh, Savage 34-yard line. This will be third and nine for the Savages.
Trips left. Shotgun formation, low snap. Weaver gets it, rolls out, gets rid of it down the field. He's got his man complete inside the 25. Good catch over there on the sideline. That was Blue McNeil, number two for the Savages. It was a good catch. Good throw, too. He had plenty of zip on it. Yes, he did. He's got a good arm. First down. Be a first down for the Savages. Another first down. Tell you what, this yeah. is a 10-plus uh, play drive here for the Savages. Moving the ball. That's what they needed to do here to keep that ball out That's of the That's all they got. Yeah, keep <laughs> the keep the ball out of the hands of that diamond offense. Ball right on the diamond 24-yard line. Savages line up in a offset eye formation. Fullback in motion. Takes a snap, fake pitch. We were going to keep it, going to have some rooms, going to get up across the 20. Falls forward to about the 15, gain of about nine on the run for Weaver. Boy. Pretty well the whole defensive line combining on the tackle for the Diamonds there. Second down and about one here for the Savages. That was a pretty good little play there, the fake pitch. The fake pitch and yeah, the quarterback that keeper. That was a nice little play. Man in motion, the fullback. Pitch this time to the tailback. It's going to have the first down up across the 15. So pretty good gain there. Gain of about four on the run for the, uh, for the tailback. Tristan Brown on the tackle again. He's racking up some tackles early tonight. That's a level. Takes a snap. Up the middle. Not much. Not much on the play there. Kill Wilson on the tackle. Who would have done that, huh, to <laughs> us? <laughs> it's sabotage, isn't it? It was. Tell you what, Savages moving the football here. It's going to be second down and six here for the Savages. Ball about, ball right inside the 10-yard line, about the eight. Shotgun formation, three receivers to the left, takes the snap. Weaver, plenty of times, going to launch it, overthrows the intended receiver at the level. Tristan Brown out there in coverage. Had level there. Yeah, but he did. But overthrew him. Overthrew him. Not much room in the end zone there for level. So it'll be third down and six here for the Savages. 2.36 left here, first quarter. Tell you what, Diamonds jumped out, had scored two touchdowns in the first minute and a half. Yeah. Savages trying to keep the ball out of their hands. Savages have done a good job on this drive. Weaver takes the snap. It's going to be blitzed. Wilson's going to get him and sack him in the backfield. Boy. Good job by Wilson off the corner. Wilson showing some speed like we've seen him do in the past few games, kind of like we saw him do there at Cashel Hall on that final play of the game, showing some speed getting in the backfield. Yep. So that's going to move them way back. We'll see if they're going to bring the kicker on. Looks like they are. It's going to be uh, – Number six, Juan Lewis, the kicker. He's going to try to kick one here. It's going to be a 39-yard attempt. Cubit will do the holding for the Savages. Let's just see what Lewis can do here. Try to get him on the board. It's a good snap, a good hold. Kick is up. And it's good. Good-looking kick. Lewis with a 39-yard field goal. Good, had plenty of distance. 148 left here, first quarter. Diamonds 14, Savages 3. Perry's Office Supply, serving Sequoia County since 1978. We have everything you need to keep your office running efficiently. We've got it all from paper clips to computer supplies to office furniture. Well, you can even send and receive faxes at Perry's. Just go see Gus Perry at 205 North Oak. You call, that's all. He'll haul. Sell us off Family Fitness a locally owned and operated Christian-based fitness center that takes pride in providing a clean, modern fitness center for Salisaw and all of Sequoia County. Come visit our 21,000 square foot facility and see our complete Cybex line of equipment, free weights, classes, and of course child care is always included in all memberships. Come check out Salisaw Family Fitness, helping people work to get the body they deserve. Salisaw Family Fitness is located in the Eastgate Shopping Center.
Lewis to do the kickoff here. Back to return, Wilson. And they're gonna, <laughs> they're gonna kick it to Carr this time, and he takes it inside his own 10. Carr back up the middle, spins, gonna be tackled about the 23. So the Diamonds take over on their own 23, 143 left here first quarter. Diamonds 14, Savages three. Tonight's game is brought to you by Diamond Net, your hometown high-speed connection to the world. Offering digital cable, telephone service, and the fastest internet access in town, all brought to you by the city of Salisaw. Diamond Scott here, shotgun formation. Four receivers. Takes a snap, the give. Davenport spins, nothing on the play. Good job by the defense there, maybe a yard. Yeah, good play by that defensive line of the Savages that time. So Davenport gains a yard. It's gonna be second down and nine here for the Diamonds. Shotgun formation, four receivers here for the Diamonds. Scopus takes the snap, the give. Davenport finds a hole at the middle, 35, 40, 45, still running. Tries to cut out, 45, 40, still running. Down inside the 30-yard line. What a great run for Davenport down to the Savage 28-yard line. What a carry. Yeah, that left side, that offensive line did a good job, gave him a big hole. Kyler Skelton had a great block, it came over and made a great block and opened up a good running lane there. It looked like that Broken Bow defense was, was blitzing from the left side. Yeah. Yeah, Kyler Skelton had a great block that really sprung that play. So the Diamonds will be first and 10. Ball on the Savage 28 yard line. Diamonds spreading the field out here. Got three receivers to the left. Takes a snap, fakes, play actions. Scope is gonna duck it, gonna get sacked in the backfield. Back at the 37 yard line, so loss of about eight yeah. for the Diamonds. Good pass rush that time by the Savages. They brought the house. Loss of about seven or eight on that one. Yeah, it's gonna be second, second about 18 here for the for the Diamonds. 20 seconds left here in the first quarter. Diamonds will get one playoff here in the quarter. Four receiver spread. Wilson in the backfield, takes a snap. The give, Wilson finds a hole, 30, 25, gone. Touchdown, Wilson. Touchdown. What a carry. <laughs> when all else fails, hand the ball to Wilson. And we got a flag here, though, yeah, that's at true. about the line of scrimmage. It's going to be on, on the, the diamonds. diamonds. Bring it back. what the call is here. I thought maybe it was an unsportsmanlike conduct, but I'm not sure. That's that kind of looked like the signal. The call was. It looked like the old unsportsmanlike yeah. conduct signal yeah. there. Not sure, though. So the touchdown's good. Since okay, so it was after Honda, the it was after the play. So they'll move it back on the extra point attempt here. So we'll see Rodriguez in to attempt a uh, extra point, and it'll be a. Uh, well, they're going to spot the ball on the 17, so it'll be about a 34 yard, about a 34 yard extra point. Yeah, it'll be make him work for it a little bit here. I don't think it'll be much work for him. <laughs> see Rodriguez to kick here. Good hold, good snap. Kick is up, and it's good. Five seconds left here in the first quarter. Diamonds 21, Savages 3. Salisaw Lumber now offers a complete line of Guardian fiberglass insulation to help you lower your home or business electric bill. Whether you want it blown in or batted, Salisaw Lumber will professionally install Guardian fiberglass insulation for you. 
Remember that good results begin with a solid foundation, and that requires the right materials for the job. That's why the pros and do-it-yourselfers trust Salisaw Lumber for selection and service. Diamonds to kick again here, still in the first quarter. So Rodriguez to kick here. Kick is away. Leffel will take it at his own two. He's going to run it right, back up the middle. Big hole across the 25 up to the 30-yard line. So Savage will take over on about their own 30. End of the first quarter here from Broken Bow Memorial Stadium. Sasol Black Diamonds 21. Broken Bow Savages 0. Excuse me, 3. In today's financial environment, you need a comprehensive retirement plan to help ensure long-term income. Talk to Marley Abel at First Financial Center to learn how investing today can help provide the income you'll need for tomorrow. First Financial Center is located inside First Star Bank. Securities, asset management, and insurance products are offered through LPL Financial and its affiliates. About ready to start the second quarter here. Yeah, Savage is going to have it on their own 30. Good first quarter for the Diamonds. I tell you what, it was when you hang 21 points on the board in a quarter, that's a it's a good yeah. offense. It's good offensive output. We saw that last week. Diamonds put up 28 in the third quarter against Stillwell. Yep. Just, you Just completely put the game away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This one's uh, kind of getting out of reach already for the Savages. Three receivers to the left. Weaver in the shotgun, takes a snap. Screen pass, Patel can't catch it. Off his hands, incomplete. Second and ten for the Savages. Got the Cashel Hall game tonight. Cashel Hall, Fort Gibson. That's a huge game. Huge game in 4 Big implications in the district race. Big implications. I think we kind of got the four teams established that yeah. are going to the playoffs. But in, in which order, I mean, you, no one yeah, has any exactly. ideas. Four could be one. I mean, it, it very well could, yeah. We'll throw outside, complete to Patel. Wilson. Can't shake yeah. loose, going to be tackled in the backfield. Loss of about five on the play there for the Savages. Wilson with the tackle and goes ahead and holds on and drags him down. Good play. It's going to be third down and about 15 here for the Savages. I didn't visit our old favorite store across the street. No, I didn't get to either. I might stop there on the way out. I'm going to stop there and get me a bologna sandwich and some shotgun yeah, shells. Yeah, yeah I was going to get some ammunition. <laughs> my black powder. Yeah. All my black powder needs. Yeah. Get some sabots. Takes a snap. Weaver rolls, looks, pressured. Oh, breaks yes. a tackle. Can't break the second one. Get sacked in the backfield, and that's going to move it back to the 20. So a loss of four on the play there, and that's going to bring up a fourth down and about 20. Wilson and Coulter back there just causing all kinds of trouble in the Savage backfield. It's going to be a fourth and about 20 for the Savages. So we'll see. Uh, see the punter out for the Savages. I think that, that may be Lewis. May, Lewis may do the punting also. I'm not sure. Good rush here by the Diamonds. Low punt. Takes a Savage bounce. Then a Diamond bounce to the Savage 48-yard line. Diamonds take over with great field position. 
10-25 left here. Third quarter, Diamonds 21, Savages 3. Tonight's game is also brought to you by Charlie's Chicken, where you can have an all-you-can-eat buffet seven days a week. On Fridays, enjoy their catfish buffet, and on Saturdays, their barbecue rib buffet. Charlie's caters for all occasions. Dine in or drive through. It's Charlie's Chicken, home of the all-white meat chicken chunk. They're located at 720 West Cherokee, and you can phone them at 775-9816. Diamonds back out here on offense, shotgun formation. Scopus takes a snap, hands a give, Davenport up the middle, lowers his head, rumbles inside the 45, down to about the 43. Gain of about five on the run. Second and five. Diamond's looking, good. Diamond's looking really good this evening on the ground, doing a good job. Takes the snap. They're going to run the option. Scope is going to keep it. Finds a hole. Good hole across the 30. 25. Good run. Lowers his head down close to the 20-yard line. Physical run Boy, good by tough Scopus. run up the middle by Scopus. Good job. That's a gain of about 21 on the run there for the Diamonds. Wow, nice run. First run time we've really seen that. Lowering his shoulder, running some kids over. Scopus, big quarterback, 200 plus pounds, 6'4. Shotgun formation. Takes a snap to give Wilson around the left end, gonna find a hole, gonna lower his head. He's gonna be close to another diamond first down. What good push that time again by that left side of that diamond offensive line. They're just blowing those defensive linemen five yards back off the line. Gain of about eight, nine on the carry. For Scopus. It's going to be second. Wow, it's a gain of nine. Second and one. Shotgun formation. Davenport the back. Takes a snap. The give. Davenport lowers his head inside the 10. Down to about the nine. Gain of three on the run. Picking up the first down. Moving the sticks. It's going to be first and goal. A punishing run. Also, oh, that run. was. Davenport's punishing most, those defenders. Most of his runs are <laughs> pretty they are. punishing. They are. The old punisher. Yeah, he, he put the hurt on some defenders out there. First and go. Scopus in the shotgun takes the snap. The give Wilson up the middle. Still running into the end zone. Touchdown, Diamonds. Wilson, third touchdown of the evening already. Yeah, Savage's defense just absolutely no answer for Wilson. No, it's just not physical enough. That Diamond offensive line really doing a good job, though, just opening up some huge running lanes. So Wilson into the end zone for his third touchdown of the evening. We'll see Rodriguez on to attempt the point after. The Brown Does are out holding it. Takes the snap, kick is up, and it's good. 8.31 left here, first half. Diamonds 28, Savages 3. Go ahead and call us old-fashioned, but at First Star Bank, we still make our decisions locally and respond to your needs immediately without ever passing the buck. Our policies, our actions, and our decisions are made in the best interest of our community. When you bank with us, you can be assured your business will be handled by local people you know and trust right here at home. First Star Bank. We're here today and we'll be here tomorrow, serving you with hometown pride. So we see Leffel and Patel back to return for the Savages. Rodriguez to do some kicking here. Just gonna have to 
Rice his old leg down here after a while at yeah. halftime. He's yeah. getting a workout. Low kick by Rodriguez. Hit. Dies inside the five. Leffel picks it up. He's going to try to run left. He's going to find him a hole up the middle up to the 20-yard uh, line. So salvaged him a return there. Leffel did. So the Savages take over. 8.23 left here. First half, Diamonds 28, Savages 3. Wright Home Services believes it's more than heating, cooling, and electrical. It's a home and a family we're serving. We show our clients we care while providing professional, world-class electrical heating and cooling services in which we exceed our clients' greatest expectations. Call now for complete home heating inspection and tune-up. It's your home. Have it done right. Phone Wright Home Services at 866-607-2657. Weaver takes the snap, the give. McKinney finds a hole, spins across the 25 up to about the 26. Gain of about five on the run. Savages back out here, trips left, shotgun formation, one back. Takes a snap. Gonna keep it. Not much room. Gain of a couple. No, not much there at all. For Weaver up to the 28. Bring up about a third and two, third and three situation here. Third call it third and two for the Savages. Sam walking stick with the tackle for the Diamonds. Third and a long two here for the Savages. Trips to left, one back, shotgun formation. Takes a snap. The give tackled in the backfield. Good job by the Diamond defense there. Defensive line just crashing back there. Yeah. McKinney. Nothing doing nothing for the on Savages. The, nothing on the run. It's going to bring up fourth down and two. Fourth and about three. Actually, loss of a yard on the play for the Savages. So we're going to see the punt team on. That's Blue McNeil going to do the punting here for the Savages. We're going to see. It's going to be a fake. They're going to throw it to the receiver. He's going to have the first down and more. Gets outside across the 40 up to the 44-yard line. That's our receiver there. That is. That's O'Cubit, number Cubit. 15. Good play call. Good play call by the Savages. It's going to be a first down at about the Savage 44. Play seemed like it take a while. took a while to develop it, also. It, it did. That was, a good, that was a good call. Diamonds didn't see that one coming. Savages buried pretty deep in their own end of the field. So first and 10 for the Savages. Shotgun formation trips right. Takes a snap. Looks. Throws it. It's going to be tipped at the line of scrimmage. 66 got his paw up there. I'll tell you what, if that hadn't got tipped, down. if that hadn't got tipped, Chance Blunt probably would have picked that, that one off. That one could have been a pick six. Yep, he was going to undercut that one and go to the house with it. So they bring up second down and 10 for the Savages. Six oh six remaining here. Second quarter. Trips right, takes a snap, looks, throws it out in the flat. He's got his receiver out there. That's Patel, made a good move, gets to the outside. He's going to have some yards up to about the 48. Gain of about four on the play there. So it'll bring up third down and six for the Savages. Yeah, we've got a good diamond crowd down here tonight. Yeah, really do. Broken Bow's got quite a few people out here too. Stadium may be one of the oldest stadiums in the state. Boy, it is. Right Bu up there with Bill. Uh, I think it was built back in the Depression. Takes a snap. Weaver rolling. Going to get 
Wilson found him again with another sack. About a 20-yard loss on that one. Tell you what, Weaver ran, <laughs> ran right into Wilson. Just ran right that way. Wow, huge loss on the play. I think if I was going to roll out, I'd roll out the opposite way of where so Wilson's too. lining up at. That's going to put the ball all the way back inside the 30-yard line of the Savages. So this will n probably not going to – it's really, really not a good decision to fake from here <laughs> on a fourth and uh, – fourth and well – I'm going to call it a fourth and 26. That's about where they faked it from before. Yeah, fourth and 26. McNeil gets the punt off. Not a good one. Hits. And it's going to die out of bounds at the Diamond 47. Diamond's going to start with great field position. 5-10 remaining here in the first half. Diamond's 28. Savage is three. Scofus Law Offices are a proud supporter and sponsor of Black Diamond Football. And everyone there would like to wish Coach Benson and his players and staff another great season. If you have legal questions, give forth a call at 775-5546. Scofus Law Offices are located at the corner of Creek and Elm, just west of the courthouse. Whether you've been hurt in an accident, been charged with a crime, or have other legal needs, Forth and his staff at the Scofus Law Offices are here to help. Again, their number is 775-5546. Pass is incomplete there. Out to the flats. Harris, the intended receiver. Second and ten for the Diamonds. Four receiver spread here for the Diamonds. Shotgun formation. Takes a snap. The give. Wilson. Pretty good job by the Savages that time. Bottling him up. Gain of a couple. First time I've seen, I've seen Wilson not break out of the pack. <laughs> About the first time he's handled the ball and not scored tonight. So it'll bring up third down and about seven here for the Diamonds. Ball on the 48. Call that about the 49. Four receivers. Takes a snap. Scope is going to roll. Looks downfield. Gets rid of it. Thrown high. Almost intercepted by McNeil. But incomplete. Out of bounds. That'll bring up fourth down and about seven for the Diamonds. Looks like we're going to see punt team on the field for the first time for the Diamonds. This is a good spot for Rodriguez to put one right inside the 10-yard line also. Punting from his own 40, about the 48, 49-yard line. Perfect spot. It is. For about a 50-yarder right here. Kill it right inside the five. High spiral. Fair catch called for and taken at about the seven. So good punt by Rodriguez. Savages take over. 413 remaining. Second quarter. Diamonds 28. Savages three. Tonight's game is also brought to you by the agent Mallory Martin Funeral Home, a family owned and operated business since 1938. We take pride in being one of the oldest firms in the state, but also offering modern services and products. Please come visit our friendly staff and newly remodeled facilities. We are honored to serve families of Sequoia County for over 70 years. We offer contemporary options blended with traditional customs. Our family is serving yours since 1938. Savage is back out here on offense. Weaver under center takes the snap to give. McKinney lowers his head up to about the... Uh, Looks like about the eight gain of a yard on the play. So second down, offset eye formation, man in motion, the tight end. Weaver under center takes a snap. Loses the football, fumble. Looks like the Savages fell back on it, but that'll bring up third down. It's going to be third down and about 11 here. Loss of a couple on the play. Savages are really not in the 
territory to be losing yards here. No, not at all. Or to be turning the ball over, <laughs> putting the ball on the ground. <laughs> be losing fumbles. Yeah. Third and 11 here. Three minutes remaining, second quarter. Weaver takes a snap, looks, chunks it out, thrown behind the intended receiver, Cubit. Incomplete. Good coverage out there. Diamonds that time, walking stick, and Richie underneath coverage and sparks over the top. Kicking, punting from his own end zone. That's, uh, we might see the Diamonds try to put a rush on this one. Get yeah, a block here. McNeil back to punt in his end zone. Not a rush from the Diamonds. Low punt. Short. Going to go out oh of bounds. Oh, my. Out of bounds at about the th approximately the 30-yard line. So 247 left here. Diamonds with great field position. Diamonds up 28 to 3. Perry's Office Supply, serving Sequoia County since 1978. We have everything you need to keep your office running efficiently. We've got it all from paper clips to computer supplies to office furniture. Well, you can even send and receive faxes at Perry's. Just go see Gus Perry at 205 North Oak. You call, that's all. He'll haul. So the dime is going to take over here <laughs> on their own 21 yard lines where they marked it. Wow. Wilson in the backfield. We're going to have a little option run here. Scofus ducks it up, keeps it, falls backwards across the 15 up to about the 14. Gave him about five, six yeah. on, gave about six on the run for the down. Good little pickup there by Scofus. Tell you what, that uh, that savage defense. They're they're trying to go wherever Wilson goes. They're uh, they're getting winded. You can already tell. They spent a lot of time on the field here in this first half. I don't think it's so much time on the field. I think it's just so much running they've done trying to catch people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can't, they can't catch yeah that too. <laughs> Shotgun set, takes a snap. Davenport, boy, not much. Hit in the backfield, nothing on the play. Davenport's going to lose a couple. So it'll bring up third down and about six here for the Diamonds. We're going to whistle. Looks like gonna, Diamonds are going to get a quick timeout here. 156 remaining first half. Diamonds 28, Savage is three. Salisaw Family Fitness, a locally owned and operated Christian-based fitness center that takes pride in providing a clean, modern fitness center for Salisaw and all of Sequoia County. Come visit our 21,000 square foot facility and see our complete Cybex line of equipment, free weights, classes, and of course child care is always included in all memberships. Come check out Salisaw Family Fitness, helping people work to get the body they deserve. Salisaw Family Fitness is located in the Eastgate Shopping Center. Tonight's game was brought to you by Diamond Net, your hometown high-speed connection to the world. Offering digital cable, telephone service, and the fastest internet access in town, all brought to you by the city of Salisaw. Tonight's game is being produced by the Sequoia County Times. Call the Sequoia County Times at 775-4433, or you can log on to sequoiacountytimes.com and start your subscription today. Sequoia County Times, you can't afford to be without it. So we'll see the Diamonds here on third and eight. See what they can get going here. Shotgun formation, Wilson in the back. Whistle here, we're gonna get a flag. Let's see what they're gonna call. I don't know, but they're marching it off against the Diamonds. Haven't seen a uh, Signal from the referee. There we go. False start on the diamonds. So first and 15 for the diamonds here. Third down and about 14 for the Diamonds. Play clock hasn't started yet. Coach still uh, discussing it with the uh, referee out there, what's, what's going on. So now the play clock will start. It is, was a false start call against the Diamonds. So it's 
third and 14. Don't know why the down markers got first down over there, but, you know, we're in Broken Bow. You never know. Well, yeah, there's not much time. Shotgun formation. Takes the snap. We got another whistle. I think we're going to get another false start. No, it's going to be on the, the savages. on the savages side. Maybe an offsides. May well have been. Maybe an encroachment, possibly. Might be some encroaching going on down there. Great night for football out here. Oh, it is a beautiful night. Yeah, we do have encroachment on the savages. So that'll move it back. Put us back where we started here. Third down and about eight. Third and nine. That's what they're going to. Third and nine is where the spot's going to be for the Diamonds. Ball is right inside the 20 yard line on the Savage 19. Scopus takes the snap. The give, Wilson cuts it out, cuts it back. Lots of running room. 10, 5, touchdown, Diamonds. Wilson, fourth touchdown of the evening. Wow. Racking up some stats here. Racking them up. <laughs> See Rodriguez on diamonds in control here. <laughs> Rodriguez out to attempt the point after. Brown to hold, good snap, good hold, kick is up and it's good. 146 left here, first half. Sell us all black diamonds, 35. Broken both savages, three. Salisaw Lumber now offers a complete line of Guardian fiberglass insulation to help you lower your home or business electric bill. Whether you want it blown in or batted, Salisaw Lumber will professionally install Guardian fiberglass insulation for you. Remember that good results begin with a solid foundation. And that requires the, the right materials for the job. Still on. That's why the pros and do-it-yourselfers trust Salisaw Lumber for selection and service. Are we hearing it? Yeah. See, uh, we'll see Patel and Leffel back to return for the Savages. Tell you what, we've had a lot of scoring here. Boy, we have. It's a it's been a score fest <laughs> for the Diamonds. For the Diamonds, not so yeah. much for the Savages. Savages having a tough time, but Diamonds playing good defense. High short kick. It's going to be. Fielded. I think that's Weaver up in there. <laughs> no quarterback fielding it, I believe. <laughs> I believe. I believe that was Weaver on the field, on the uh, return there. And it was. Weaver comes up with it. You don't see many times a quarterback come out and field the, no. the kickoff, but he does. So the Savages will have the ball here with a minute 40 remaining here in the first half. Diamonds 35, Savages 3. Whether your goals include college education funding, retirement planning, or reducing taxes, you've got options at First Financial Center. LPL Financial Advisor Marley Abel is committed to helping you reach your goals, whatever they may be. First Financial Center is located inside First Star Bank. Securities, asset management, and insurance products are offered through LPL Financial and its affiliates. run to the outside tackle down we got a flag though maybe a hold on the uh, maybe a hold on the um, savages so it will be a holding on the savages it's going to move them back it's going to make it first and 20 first and 20 with 132 132 remaining here. Oh. 
Savage is lined up now in the I formation. Man in motion is McNeil. Takes a snap, turn, the give, Leffel. Drilled in the backfield, Nothing good there. hit. Nothing on the play. Wow, good play. That was Hunter Reed in there. The Garrett Pruitt. Clock goes under a minute here in the first half. Savage is probably not going to be in a huge hurry here. No, that's why they went to the I formation. They're just trying to be safe and not turn it over. Try to get to halftime as, you know, quickly as possible. Yeah. Man in motion is a tight end, I formation. Weaver under center. Leffel the tailback, takes a snap, a little fake pitch. Weaver going to try to get it outside. Takes Can't another shot. Run down. No gain on the play again for the Savages. I think that was Coulter put a shot on him. Stood him up out there. Then drilled him. Wow. Yeah. Blunt came in and put a shot on him. So 15 seconds left here in the first half. Clock is ticking away. Savages won't have to call another play, and I don't believe they will. McNeil comes in, but now we're down to five seconds. Looks like Savage is going to break the huddle. They're going to go to the line of scrimmage quickly. They don't get it off, though. As we go to halftime here from Broken Bow Memorial Stadium, what a half for the Black Diamonds came out on fire. Halftime score, Salisaw Black Diamonds 35, Broken Bow Savages 3. Stay with us. We'll be back for the, for the uh, second half after a few words from our sponsors. Pre-planning our funerals, we had no idea the options open to us. Mallory Martin made it easy, and they gave us so many options we were able to design our services to fit our budget. We both feel much better now that those arrangements are made the way we want them. I'm Blake Martin. And I'm Todd Martin of Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory. If you have questions about the options available for a special funeral service, please give us a call. Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory, Eastern Oklahoma's funeral home for over a century. At Shelter Insurance, we're people who know that the first love of your life... I need you to take the shoes off. ...might have been made of steel. Thank you. Shelter Insurance. For your auto, home, and life. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Ask Agent George Glenn about Shelter's auto insurance discounts. <laughs> Hello, Bob Beam is here, and I'm a little teapot. Oh, come on, do it All right. Okay, I'm Bob Famous, master of the universe, and I... Dude, hurry up. Okay, okay. Hey, Bob Beam is here, and, and I think my toupee has fleas. Dude. No, I'm serious. This thing's itching like crazy. Where'd you get this? Oh, hi, Bob. You know, I've got half of my... Dag nabbit. Blue ribbon Salisaw, over the low price cars. Sure, everybody wants to be Bob Famous. <laughs> Aaron, you're all set. Great, thanks. Mike, thanks for doing that discount double check. You saved us hundreds. What was that? The discount double check? It's when we comb through your policies and make sure that you're getting all the discounts you deserve. No, I get that part, but you guys are doing my move. The discount double check move? That's my touchdown dance. You're a dancer? I'm a quarterback. Oh, quarterback. More. I'm a robot. <laughs> <laughs> get out of here. Aaron Rodgers got his. How about you? Count on Shannon Van and Salisaw for the discounts you deserve. Tonight's game is also brought to you by Charlie's Chicken, where you can have an all-you-can-eat buffet seven days a week. On Fridays, enjoy their catfish buffet, and on Saturdays, their barbecue rib buffet. Charlie's caters for all occasions, dine-in or drive through It's Charlie's Chicken, home of the all-white meat chicken chunk. They're located at 720 West Cherokee, and you can phone them at 775-9816. Go ahead and call us old-fashioned, but at First Star Bank, we still make our decisions locally and respond to your needs immediately without ever passing the buck. 
Our policies, our actions, and our decisions are made in the best interest of our community. When you bank with us, you can be assured your business will be handled by local people you know and trust right here at home. First Star Bank. We're here today and we'll be here tomorrow, serving you with hometown pride. Wright Home Services believes it's more than heating, cooling, and electrical. It's a home and a family we're serving. We show our clients we care while providing professional, world-class electrical heating and cooling services in which we exceed our clients' greatest expectations. Call now for complete home heating inspection and tune-up. It's your home. Have it done right. Phone Wright Home Services at 866-607-2657. Scopus Law Offices are a proud supporter and sponsor of Black Diamond Football, and everyone there would like to wish Coach Benson and his players and staff another great season. If you have legal questions, give forth a call at 775-5546. Scopus Law Offices are located at the corner of Creek and Elm, just west of the courthouse. Whether you've been hurt in an accident, been charged with a crime, or have other legal needs, Forth and his staff at the Scopus Law Offices are here to help. Again, their number is 775-5546. Tonight's game is also brought to you by the agent Mallory Martin Funeral Home, a family-owned and operated business since 1938. We take pride in being one of the oldest firms in the state, but also offering modern services and products. Please come visit our friendly staff and newly remodeled facilities. We are honored to serve families of Sequoia County for over 70 years. We offer contemporary options blended with traditional customs. Our family is serving yours since 1938. Perry's Office Supply, serving Sequoia County since 1978. We have everything you need to keep your office running efficiently. We've got it all from paper clips to computer supplies to office furniture. Well, you can even send and receive faxes at Perry's. Just go see Gus Perry at 205 North Oak. You call, that's all. He'll haul. Salisaw Family Fitness, a locally owned and operated Christian-based fitness center that takes pride in providing a clean, modern fitness center for Salisaw and all of Sequoia County. Come visit our 21,000 square foot facility and see our complete Cybex line of equipment, free weights, classes, and of course child care is always included in all memberships. Come check out Salisaw Family Fitness, helping people work to get the body they deserve. Salisaw Family Fitness is located in the Eastgate Shopping Center. Tonight's game is brought to you by Diamond Net, your hometown high-speed connection to the world. Offering digital cable, telephone service, and the fastest internet access in town, all brought to you by the city of Salisaw. Tonight's game is being produced by the Sequoia County Times. Call the Sequoia County Times at 775-4433, or you can log on to sequoiacountytimes.com and start your subscription today. Sequoia County Times, you can't afford to be without it. Salisaw Lumber now offers a complete line of Guardian fiberglass insulation to help you lower your home or business electric bill. Whether you want it blown in or batted, Salisaw Lumber will professionally install Guardian fiberglass insulation for you. Remember that good results begin with a solid foundation, and that requires the right materials for the job. That's why the pros and do-it-yourselfers trust Salisaw Lumber for selection and service. In today's financial environment, you need a comprehensive retirement plan to help ensure long-term income. Talk to Marley Abel at First Financial Center to learn how investing today can help provide the income you'll need for tomorrow. First Financial Center is located inside First Star Bank. Securities, asset management, and insurance products are offered through LPL Financial and its affiliates. Martin. And I'm Blake Martin of Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory. We are a family owned business and we've been serving this part of Oklahoma and Arkansas for over a hundred years. We pride ourselves on providing personalized service and individual attention, whether it's a cremation or a traditional funeral service. The trust our community has in us is priceless and that's why we treasure it. Not just for us, but for the next generation. We're Shelter Insurance. We know you don't stay in business for more than 60 years unless you treat customers right. We think insurance is better when it relies as much on humanity as it does on technology. And we know what the weather is like in your area because we live in your area. Shelter Insurance. For your auto, home, and life. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Get the insurance coverage you need at the right price. Call George Glenn today. 
This is Bob Famous for Blue Ribbon. No matter what your credit situation is, old Bob's going to get you into the vehicle you need for... Bob, what if they had a bankruptcy? No matter what your credit situation is, you're approved for that car, truck, banner. What about a divorce, Bob? You're approved. What about a couple of late payments? You're approved. An elephant? You're... Wait, what? An elephant. I don't see where an elephant is relevant. <laughs> well then, Bob, how about an irrelevant elephant? <laughs> Come on in. You're still approved. Blue Ribbon Salisaw, home of the low price cars. Renters insurance, we can save you six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars? Wow. You're like a magician or something. Shh. David Copperfield doesn't like it when customers say that. So he's a magician, huh? Can he do this? Or this? Or how about this? Wow, that was really impressive. Uh, I think we'll go with the six hundred dollars. Combine auto and renters with State Farm and save an average of six hundred dollars. Count on Shannon Van and Salisaw to combine and save. wanted a funeral service that was meaningful and honored who mom was. Well, that's what I got. Mallory Martin gave that to us with flowers that she liked, her favorite music, even featured the quilt she loved to make. It was personalized, and because we used only the options we wanted, very affordable. I'm Blake Martin. And I'm Todd Martin of Mallory Martin Funeral Home in Crematory. If you have questions about the options available for a special funeral service, please give us a call. Mallory Martin Funeral Home in Crematory, Eastern Oklahoma's funeral home for over a century. What should we do? Better call our shelter agent. Yeah. Hey, Tom, you got a sec? Yeah, sure. We know what the weather is like in your area because we live in your area. Shelter insurance for your auto, home, and life. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Ask shelter agent George Glenn about shelter's competitive insurance rates. Hey, Bob Famous here for Blue Ribbon Salisaw, home of the low price cars, where we're always leading the way to save you money on your next new or used vehicle. <laughs> you should always think of our dealership first <laughs> when searching for the best value on your next automotive purchase. <laughs> so when you're shopping around for the lowest price, accept no imitations. <laughs> Blue Ribbon Salisaw, home of the low price cars. <laughs> Was that really necessary? My husband, Hank, never took life too seriously till our son was born. That day, he bought life insurance. There's no way I could send our boy to college without it. If there was one thing I could say to Hank, it'd be thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Hank. Life insurance you can use while you're still living. You are one lucky lady. Mm -hmm. Learn more from Agent Shannon Van in Salisaw today. Pre-planning our funerals, we had no idea the options open to us. Mallory Martin made it easy, and they gave us so many options we were able to design our services to fit our budget. We both feel much better now that those arrangements are made the way we want them. I'm Blake Martin. And I'm Todd Martin of Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory. If you have questions about the options available for a special funeral service, please give us a call. Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory, Eastern Oklahoma's funeral home for over a century.
Shelter Insurance. We're people who know that the first love of your life. I need you to take the shoes off. Might have been made of steel. Thank you. Shelter Insurance. For your auto, home, and life. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Ask Agent George Glenn about Shelter's auto insurance discounts. Hurry up. <clears throat> Hello. Bob Famous here, and I'm a little teapot. Oh, come on. Do it All right. right. Okay. I'm Bob Famous, master of the universe, and I... Dude, hurry up. Okay, okay. Hey, Bob Famous here, and, and I think my toupee has fleas. Dude. No, I'm serious. Oh. This thing's itching like crazy. Where'd you get this? Oh, hi, Bob. You know, I've got half of my... Dag nabbit! Blue Ribbon Salisaw, home of the low price cars. Sure, everybody wants to be Bob Famous. <laughs> Aaron, you're all set. Great, thanks. Mike, thanks for doing that discount double check. You saved us hundreds. What was that? The discount double check? It's when we comb through your policies and make sure that you're getting all the discounts you deserve. No, I get that part, but you guys are doing my move. The Discount double check move? That's my touchdown dance. You're a dancer? I'm a quarterback. Oh, quarterback. More. I'm a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Aaron Rodgers got his. How about you? Count on Shannon Van and Salisaw for the discounts you deserve. Martin. And I'm Blake Martin of Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory. We are a family-owned business, and we've been serving this part of Oklahoma and Arkansas for over 100 years. We pride ourselves on providing personalized service and individual attention, whether it's a cremation or a traditional funeral service. The trust our community has in us is priceless, and that's why we treasure it, not just for us, but for the next generation. We're Shelter Insurance. We know you don't stay in business for more than 60 years unless you treat customers right. We think insurance is better when it relies as much on humanity as it does on technology. And we know what the weather is like in your area because we live in your area. Shelter Insurance, for your auto, home, and life. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Get the insurance coverage you need at the right price. Call George Glenn today. This is Bob Famous for Blue Ribbon. No matter what your credit situation is, old Bob's going to get you into the vehicle you need for... Bob, what if they had a bankruptcy? No matter what your credit situation is, you're approved for that car, truck, banner. What about a divorce, Bob? You're approved. What about a couple of late payments? You're approved. An elephant? You're... Wait, what? An elephant. I don't see where an elephant is relevant. <laughs> well then, Bob, how about an irrelevant elephant? <laughs> Come on in. You're still approved. Blue Ribbon Salisaw, home of the low price cars. Renters insurance, we can save you six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars? Wow. You're like a magician or something. Shh. David Copperfield doesn't like it when customers say that. So he's a magician, huh? Can he do this? Or this? Or how about this? Wow, that was really impressive. Uh, I think we'll go with the six hundred dollars. Combine auto and renters with State Farm and save an average of six hundred dollars. Count on Shannon Van and Salisaw to combine and save. funeral service that was meaningful and honored who mom was. Well, that's what I got. Mallory Martin gave that to us with flowers that she liked, her favorite music, even featured the quilt she loved to make. It was personalized, and because we used only the options we wanted, very affordable. I'm Blake Martin. And I'm Todd Martin of Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory. If you have questions about the options available for a special funeral service, please give us a call. Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory, Eastern Oklahoma's funeral home for over a century.
What should we do? Better call our shelter agent. Yeah. Hey, Tom, you got a sec? Yeah, sure. We know what the weather is like in your area because we live in your area. Shelter insurance for your auto, home, and life. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Ask shelter agent George Glenn about shelter's competitive insurance rates. back there was a popping noise can't hear you can now yep you can't hear anything I, I can hear it loud yeah we're back here ladies and gentlemen Ready to start the third quarter. Diamonds in control, 35 to three. We'll see the uh, Savage Savages are deferred at the opening coin toss, and they will uh, they will get the ball here. We'll get the ball here to begin the third quarter. We'll see Rodriguez out here to kick. Tell you what. Footballs, flying shirts, all kinds of stuff happening over here on the Broken Bow sideline over here. Well, you're back. I am you're back. We're ready it. for kickoff. Didn't know if you were coming back there. Technical difficulty, but I'm back. We'll see Patel take it, hesitate, cuts it back up the field, 25, spins up close to the 30-yard line. So the Savages begin there. 11.51 left third quarter, Savages. Get the ball here, Savages trailing the Black Diamonds, 35 to three. Tonight's game is also brought to you by Charlie's Chicken, where you can have an all-you-can-eat buffet seven days a week. On Fridays, enjoy their catfish buffet, and on Saturdays, their barbecue rib buffet. Charlie's caters for all occasions, dine in or drive through. It's Charlie's Chicken, home of the all-white meat chicken chunk. They're located at 720 West Cherokee, and you can phone them at 775-9816. We're going to get a whistle here and a false start. Receiver took off. McNeil took off running down the field, and everyone else was, <laughs> everyone well, else was still set. That's their sneak trick play. I'll tell you what, I've seen more football flying tonight up here than, than on the field. Give, they've had to give out 300 footballs tonight. Open the window and get you one. I might have to. There's an old spiral. Spyro? No, Spyro. Oh, okay. We're not, we're not playing the old Bulldogs tonight. <laughs> that one died there. Shotgun formation, three receiver set here for the Savages. Takes a snap. Weaver looks left. Gets it across the middle. Incomplete. Long punish the receiver there. Yeah, I gave him a shot Keep there. It. Make sure he knew he was back there behind him. You like that? Yeah, I'm trying to keep it from falling out there. Let's buddy. leave it hanging right there. Okay, there we say. go. It's a nice night out here tonight. It is. Nice, cool beautiful. night. Still throwing footballs up here. I haven't just had 15 boxes of footballs. I think this may very well be their last home game of the year. I th actually, it? I believe well, it is. Well, got to get so rid of them. they got T-shirts down That's here. That's right. They're getting unloading got, all the gear. they got crutches. <laughs> Weaver with the keeper around the right side, not going to get back to the Dropped for a loss there. Savage is having a tough time. Well, the old uh, Savage crowd thinning out a little bit here, too, as the second half starting. Yeah, it's muzzleloader season tomorrow. Got to get ready. Got to get to bed. <laughs> get up at the crack of dawn and get out there. So third and long, third and about 14 here for the Savages. Three receivers to the left. Weaver 
Going to keep it on the read option. Going to get smacked. Got hammered out there. About the 27. A gain of about four, three. Gain of about three on the run, and that's going to do it. It's going to rank fourth down in a punting situation for the Savages. Good tackle by Hunter Reed that time. See McNeil back to punt, gets it off, short, low punt. It's going to hit. It's going to be fielded by, looks like it was Thurber, but he's down. He took a knee on the on the, uh, on the the catch. So it'll be Diamond Ball on the Diamond 38. 10.07 left here, third quarter. Diamond's in control, 35-3. to three. Go ahead and call us old-fashioned, but at First Star Bank, we still believe our customers deserve first-rate quality service day in and day out. We don't expect you to call and talk to a computer or a voicemail. As a matter of fact, we like to hear from you. We know our customers on a first-name basis, and we're not going to leave important decisions on your financial future up to bankers in another state. At First Star Bank, you'll find the old-fashioned personal service that can only come from a truly local bank. We invite you to come in and enjoy banking the way it used to be. About the 30, about the 43. Gain of about four on the run. Nice little Scopus. pick up again by Scopus. Well, we've seen him run the ball pretty well in that first half. Yeah. Doing a good job on that option keeper. Yeah, he's really running with authority, really physical. Bring up second down and about six here for the Diamonds. Shotgun formation. Takes a snap. The give, Wilson lowers his head, punishes defenders as he runs up to about the 47. It's going to be really close to a Diamond first down, maybe about a half a yard short. He's wanting to. It's going to be third down and about a yard. Wilson wanting to give him another touchdown on the night here. Well, it's very possible. He's, he's been prolific here thus four, far. Four touchdowns this evening. Harris. Harris you know, the with only the receiving. Other yeah. The only other diamond to score. Yep, receiving touchdown. Shotgun formation. Scopus takes a snap, going to run the option, pitches it. Wilson finds a hole across the 50. 45, switches hands across the 40, down inside the 40, Savage 40. Good pitch there by Scopus. And it'll be another Diamond first down. Nice little play call there by the Diamonds. Get Scopus out of the pocket. Run the option. Ball on about the 38, Savage 38 yard line. So Diamonds come back out here. Shotgun formation. Scopus takes a snap, fakes, rolls, looks downfield. He's got a man, Richie, complete inside the 25, 20. Still running 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Diamonds. Boy, 38. Richie. Yeah, Richie. 38 yard pass and catch for the touchdown. Richie showed some soft hands out there on the catch and then just rumbled afterwards. There wasn't any stopping him. I wouldn't have wanted to get in his way. I don't think any savages did either. No. <laughs> Job by Richie with the touchdown. We'll see uh, Rodriguez on to attempt the point after. Good snap. Kick is up. And it's good. 7.57 left here. Third quarter. Diamonds 42. Savages 3. Wright Home Services believes it's more than heating, cooling, and electrical. It's a home and a family we're serving. We show our clients we care while providing professional, world-class electrical heating and cooling services in which we exceed our clients' greatest expectations. Call now for complete home heating inspection and tune-up. It's your home. Have it done right. Phone Wright Home Services at 866-607-2657. Got a score to update for you on that big Fort Gibson Cashel Hall game. It was 7 7 at the half. It's the latest that we have on that one. That one figured it would be a close one. The uh, biggest game in District 4A4 by far tonight, and uh, a lot of implications for those two teams as well as your Black Diamonds and Poto in that one as well. 
Cotto was up pretty big over Muldrow. Kind of as we expected. I think it was, I believe it was 28-3 at the half. Yeah. You see Leffel and Patel back to return for the Savages. Kick is away. It's going to be Leffel. It's going to take it at his own seven. He's going to cut it back. Across the 20, up to about the 23. Savages take over, 748 left third quarter. Diamonds 42, Savages three. Scofus Law Offices are a proud supporter and sponsor of Black Diamond Football. And everyone there would like to wish Coach Benson and his players and staff another great season. If you have legal questions, give forth a call at 775-5546. Scofus Law Offices are located at the corner of Creek and Elm, just west of the courthouse. Whether you've been hurt in an accident, been charged with a crime, or have other legal needs, Forth and his staff at the Scofus Law Offices are here to help. Again, their number is 775-5546. Was a flag on the Savages there. Penalty against the Savages is going to move them back. The ball is going to be spotted at the... Uh, about the Savage 11 yard line, so Savage got a lot of field. Yeah, it was a hold on the kick return. Shotgun formation. Takes a snap. The give, Ooh. McKinney hit in the backfield, gonna lose yardage. I'm losing some yardage. Back to the seven, loss of about four. Richie, Tristan Brown back there. Sam Coulter. This guy's doing a good job out there. Got Bailey Carter in the game, number 72 for the Diamonds, playing on the defensive line, playing the uh, nose tackle spot. Four, three receivers here for the Savages. Shotgun formation, takes a snap. Give to McKinney, not much. Mm, Runs no. right into a line of Diamond defenders, gain of a couple maybe. going to bring up second and 12, excuse me, third and 12 for the Savages. Yeah, that, that, that 4 a 4 matchup between the, the Commandos and the Tigers, big, big, big playoff big, imp yep. implications there. Um, four, what, I mean, four teams right now just really in the race. Yeah. And next week the Diamonds go to Muldrow, play the Bulldogs over there, and then Fort Gibson at and Salisaw, the, and, and that is huge. This is a big game for the Diamonds here. The Diamonds are going to get their 15 district points in this one. Exactly. What you want, you want. Snap. The give. McKinney running. Pretty good gain up close to the 15. We'll give him about, give him a few on the play. Give him about four, maybe five, and that's going to be it. It'll bring up fourth down for the Savages. Fourth and about se fourth and about six is what we'll call it for the Savages. If that, uh, if that Cashel Hall Fort Gibson game stays as close as what it has been. Neither one of those teams are going to get we'll very get many either. district points either. Exactly. So that, uh, that's, a, exactly. that's what we need as well, especially concerning Poto. You know, they're going to get their points tonight Which at Muldrow. Gibson, so. Gibson, if they lose, it'll be their second district That's loss. right. Poto beat them already. McNeil gets the punt off, hits, take a savage bounce into Diamond Territory where it's going to be downed at about the 45. Diamonds take over. 447 left third quarter. Diamonds up 42-3. to three. Tonight's game is also brought to you by the Agent Mallory Martin Funeral Home, a family-owned and operated business since 1938. We take pride in being one of the oldest firms in the state, but also offering modern services and products. Please come visit our friendly staff and newly remodeled facilities. We are honored to serve families of Sequoia County for over 70 years. We offer contemporary options blended with traditional customs. Our family is serving yours since 1938. Diamonds back out here on offense, Scopus and company. Four receivers here for the Diamonds. Three to the right, takes a snap. The give Carr in the backfield, running hard, a good hole right up the <laughs> middle and 30, 25, and Carr wow. is gone. That'll help you yards per carry average yes, right there. Indeed. Carr, first carry of the night for him, goes in for the touchdown. I don't know if anybody even got a hand on him, just yeah, ran they, right they by did, everybody. Yeah, they did, but he broke tackles. Wow. 
Carr showing some great speed. So Carr into the end zone. Diamonds approaching the old 50 mark here. This extra point would put him at 49. It'd be 49 to three. And Rodriguez is, excuse me, it's not Rodriguez kicking. That's going to be uh, number 18 out there. It's Edwin Caster. So Caster with the extra point, and it's good. 4.03 left here. Diamonds 49. Savages 3. Perry's Office Supply, serving Sequoia County since 1978. We have everything you need to keep your office running efficiently. We've got it all from paper clips to computer supplies to office furniture. Well, you can even send and receive faxes at Perry's. Just go see Gus Perry at 205 North Oak. You call, that's all. He'll haul. There was a flag on the extra point attempt. The extra point was good, and it was a personal foul call on the Diamonds. So that will be assessed on the kickoff. Going to make Rodriguez try to work for his touchback on this one. Put him back 15 if, yards. If he kicks. Yeah, it looks like he's coming out. Going to make him work for it here. 49 to 3, Diamonds. Tell you what, Savages are faithful to their old squad. Not many yeah. of them not many of them leaving. A lot of them hanging around. So Rodriguez is going to kick from his own from his 25 instead of the 40-yard line. Might see another one of those short high kickoffs. Weaver, the quarterback, one of the one of the second level guys for the Savages, kicked it to him earlier. Don't know if you really want your quarterback in there getting hit no, on the kickoff returns. But you know, I think you just gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do That's to get right. by. That's, That's what right. it is. <laughs> so Rodriguez. Some kicking here. We'll see uh, Patel and Leffel back deep for the Savages. Rodriguez. Deep kick. Going to be taken by Leffel. It falls down on it. <laughs> That's a 20 yard well, line. Had a chance for a return. Had but a chance. Lost his a lot footing. of room for a turn. Couldn't stay up. Savages take over on their own 20. 353 left here. Third quarter. Diamonds 49. Savages 3. Salisaw Family Fitness, a locally owned and operated Christian-based fitness center that takes pride in providing a clean, modern fitness center for Salisaw and all of Sequoia County. Come visit our 21,000 square foot facility and see our complete Cybex line of equipment, free weights, classes, and of course child care is always included in all memberships. Come check out Salisaw Family Fitness, helping people work to get the body they deserve. Salisaw Family Fitness is located in the Eastgate Shopping Center. Savages in the I formation, the pitch outside, level. Going to get tackled, gain of a couple. Tristan Brown on the tackle, good job that time. Short gain. Shotgun formation trips right for the Savages. Weaver takes the snap, drops back to throw, looks. Pressured. Going to get hit. Oh. Going to get lose the football in the end zone. Savages can't pick it up. Who's going to fall on it? Not sure. Diamonds say they did. Diamonds say they got it. For, it Touchdown. is. Touchdown, Diamonds. Can't tell who came up with it. I believe that was walking, walking stick. stick. Sam Walking Stick came up with the loose ball. Don't know about the uh, – what the quarterback was thinking there, going down just I to kind of ditch it. I would have pulled it, Phillip but. Rivers and kicked it out of the end zone <laughs> or something. Yeah, so yeah. I, I don't really know what he was thinking there. He should have just ate it and went down. But good pass rush that time. That diamond defensive line all over the quarterback. Was he cast her back out from the diamonds to tip the point after? Brown to hold. Kick is away, and it is good. 237 left here, third quarter. Diamonds 56, Savages 3.
Salisaw Lumber now offers a complete line of Guardian fiberglass insulation to help you lower your home or business electric bill. Whether you want it blown in or batted, Salisaw Lumber will professionally install Guardian fiberglass insulation for you. Remember that good results begin with a solid foundation, and that requires the right materials for the job. That's why the pros and do-it-yourselfers trust Salisaw Lumber for selection and service. what the real mercy rule needs to be coming into effect here buddy <laughs> yeah what about that greenwood Southside game you got to score on that you got to score on that it was 28 21 and a half last i saw south side on top 28 21 yeah. south side wow tell you what that's i think that's, that's the first time rare. greenwood's been yeah. down all season i think it's the first time they've been down since they weren't they down to south saw first game of the season 2012 14 to 13 at halftime yeah i think so wasn't yeah it? i believe so Kick is away, Leffel fields it inside the 10. He's going to run back to the right. A little running room here. Bounces back up the middle, across the 20, up to about the 25-yard line. Savages take over. Two minutes remaining here, third quarter. Diamonds 56, Savages 3. Whether your goals include college education funding, retirement planning, or reducing taxes, you've got options at First Financial Center. LPL Financial Advisor Marley Abel is committed to helping you reach your goals, whatever they may be. First Financial Center is located inside First Star Bank. Securities, asset management, and insurance products are offered through LPL Financial and its affiliates. Savages back out here on offense, I formation, two receivers. Man in motion is a tight end. Weaver, under center, takes a snap, turns, gives. McKinney finds a lane, breaks it outside. Best run of the night for McKinney up to about the 40-yard line. It's giving him about 15 on the carry. Tell you what, Diamonds have bottled him up, the tailback for the Savages. Savages typically always have a pretty good tailback yes, every year, they do. you know, from Dawkins on. They usually have a big physical. A big physical one and a yeah. fast one also. Yep. And then fast receivers on the outside. Little different though, you know. Warner's not coaching here anymore. Coach True. Warner, he's at Poto, True. doing a good job down there. Doing a really, really turned that job. program around. He's got Poto, you know, right there at the top of the 4A4 standings. I formation here for the Savages. Takes a snap, turns, gives. McKinney dances, finds another hole, tries to get it outside. It's going to be wrapped up and taken down at about the 47. So it's giving him about seven yards on the run. It'll be a second down and three situation here for the Savages. Great night for football. About 50 degrees outside here in Broken Bow. Beautiful weather. Maybe maybe just a little lower than 50. Great weather. Missing our old buds tonight, the old Marcus and Locus. Yeah, we are. They couldn't make the trip. They had to stay back and keep things running back at home. Offset eye takes a snap. Pitch, level. Across the 50, 45. Finds a hole. A lot of running room. Long's going to hit him and knock him down at about the 20. So good job by Long, a touchdown saving tackle. So Leffel with the best run of the evening for the Savages. Ball's going to be down at the uh, Diamond 19 yard line. There's going to be nine seconds left here in the third quarter. We'll see if the Savages get another play. I believe he was out of bounds, so I believe the clock will stop. I don't think the Savages will get another play here before the clock starts back. His coaching staff down there yelling around at the yeah, old sure. receiver that couldn't get out on the field. <laughs> got to put your old pat. You got to put your old helmet on and get out there. Got to get out there. When eye they. formation, offset eye takes a snap. The give level cuts it back up inside. Good carry inside the five down to about the down to about the two, and that'll zero point one on the <laughs> clock. So one tenth of a second. There we go. That's that'll gonna do it. that'll do it for the third quarter. As we go to the fourth quarter here from Broken Bow Memorial Stadium, Salisaw Black Diamonds, 56, Broken Bow Savages, 3. Tonight's game is also brought to you by Charlie's Chicken, where you can have an all-you-can-eat buffet seven days a week. On Fridays, enjoy their catfish buffet, and on Saturdays, their barbecue rib buffet. Charlie's caters for all occasions. Dine in or drive through. It's Charlie's Chicken, 
home of the all-white meat chicken chunk. They're located at 720 West Cherokee, and you can phone them at 775-9816. Go ahead and call us old-fashioned, but at First Star Bank, we still believe our customers deserve first-rate quality service day in and day out. We don't expect you to call and talk to a computer or a voicemail. As a matter of fact, we like to hear from you. We know our customers on a first-name basis, and we're not going to leave important decisions on your financial future up to bankers in another state. At First Star Bank, you'll find the old-fashioned personal service that can only come from a truly local bank. We invite you to come in and enjoy banking the way it used to be. Wright Home Services believes it's more than heating, cooling, and electrical. It's a home and a family we're serving. We show our clients we care while providing professional, world-class electrical heating and cooling services in which we exceed our clients' greatest expectations. Call now for complete home heating inspection and tune-up. It's your home. Have it done right. Phone Wright Home Services at 866-607-2657. So the Savages will begin the fourth quarter with the best field position they've had <laughs> about the two-yard line here. Yeah, best position they've had all they've night. Best position they've had all night. Offset eye formation, level, the tailback. Big snap to give to him, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown. Don't know how much I'd really be celebrating like that. No, but happy nonetheless. So Leffel gets in the end zone, and we'll see the uh, we'll see Lewis out to attempt the point after. Lewis, the only scorer for the uh, Savages in the ball game prior to the touchdown with his, with his field goal, 37 yard field goal. And we'll see him out to attempt the point after here. Cubit will hold. Kick is up. And it's good. 11.50 left here in the ball game. Diamonds 56, Savages 10. The Scofus Law Offices are a proud supporter and sponsor of Black Diamond football. And everyone there would like to wish Coach Benson and his players and staff another successful season. If you have legal questions, give Forth a call at 775-5546. Scofus Law Offices are located at the corner of Creek and Elm, just west of the courthouse in Salisaw. Whether you've been hurt in an accident and been charged with a crime or have other legal needs, Forth and his staff at the Scofus Law Offices are here to help. Again, their number is Kick is away. It'll be taken. I think that's Johnson. Back up the middle. A lot of running room across the 30, close to the 40 yard line. JoJo Johnson with a good return. So the Diamonds take over with good field position. 11 27 left here in the ball game. Diamonds up 56 to 10. Tonight's game is also brought to you by the agent Mallory Martin Funeral Home, a family owned and operated business since 1938. We take pride in being one of the oldest firms in the state, but also offering modern services and products. Please come visit our friendly staff and newly remodeled facilities. We are honored to serve families of Sequoia County for over 70 years. We offer contemporary options blended with traditional customs. Our family serving yours since 1938. This is going to burn a time out here. Couldn't get the play set up. 11-17 left here. Tell you what, stay with us. We're not going to go anywhere. Diamonds in control here. 56 to 10. Diamonds, good offensive output tonight. I mean, just it yeah, started just it impressive. started off with a return, 92-yard ret kickoff return for a touchdown for Kale Wilson, and it just snowballed. Diamonds yeah. did a good job. Wilson, what's he got, four touchdowns four on the touchdowns night? Four touchdowns on the night, Wilson's yeah. Carr had a big touchdown run earlier. We've seen the Diamonds move the football. Richie with a big touchdown, 38-yard touchdown reception. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Harris, Harris had the first diving catch in the offensive, end zone. First yep. offensive touchdown of the night. For diving the catch in the end zone. Diamond just offensively doing it, scoring any any way you can. They're doing a good job. Defensively also. Yeah, they played, they played good. I, I mean, they've got some reserves in now, and that's and you've seen Broken Bow go down the field. But, no, that's, I mean, that's it. Diamond's just in control. Full receiver set here for the Diamonds. Takes a snap. The give, Hume going to get hit in the backfield and dropped. Not much on the play. May have got back to the line of scrimmage. Probably 
Probably going to see a lot of running plays here for the Black Diamonds offensively. Second and ten here for the Diamonds. The old coaches are down out of the, out of the press box now, so that's a good sign. Yeah, they're called it early. Called it a night early tonight. Diamonds, four receivers. Scopus in the shotgun. Takes a snap. The give. Carr running hard up the middle. Going to get stuffed. Not much on the run. Maybe a yard for Carr. It'll be a third down and about nine for the Diamonds. It's called a third and eight. A couple on the play. Again, we got Muldrow on the road next week. That's right. Got to make the old long trip. Yeah. Battle of Highway 64 between the old Bulldogs. Bulldogs playing better, but they put but up some points. They put up some points. They sure give them up. They though. were down earlier to uh, Poto. What was it 20? 28-3 at the 20 half. 28-3 at was. the half. Poto in control there. Um, we'll try to get another. We'll try to get another score update of that Fort Gibson catch a hall game if we can. Four receivers. Kind of hard down here. You got limited access down here. True. You're kind of in the middle of nowhere. Car down here. with a good what run. A run. Spinning up to the 45, close to the 46. Going to be uh, looks like he's going to be about a about a couple yards shy of that first down. But what a run for, for Car. Car came in, got his first carry, and <laughs> man, he <laughs> took blew it, up. Took it to the house. We're going to see Tim Davis, sophomore, punter in the game for the Diamonds. See Patel back to return for the Savages. Diamond's using every bit of that play clock here. Yep. Keeping that game clock running. It's under 10. We've got 9.15 to go. Davis gets the snap. Pretty good punt. Yeah, good looking punt. It's going to hit, take a diamond bounce inside the 20, inside the 15, inside the 10, down to about the 7. What a punt. Good Savages punt. take over deep in their own territory. 8.57 left here. Fourth quarter, diamonds 56, Savages 10. Perry's Office Supply, serving Sequoia County since 1978. We have everything you need to keep your office running efficiently. We've got it all from paper clips to computer supplies to office furniture. Well, you can even send and receive faxes at Perry's. Just go see Gus Perry at 205 North Oak. You call, that's all. He'll haul. What an outstanding punt by Tim Davis that time. Savages line up here in the eye formation, two receivers. Takes a snap, pitch outside, level, finds a hole up the field. Chase Long dives, can't bring him down. 50, 45, going to get knocked out of bounds over there. At about the uh, at about the Savage, 37. Lane Binge finally chased him down, knocked him out of bounds. So you know, left going to have 100 yards tonight, but but did it with uh, late in the ball game with reserves in. Yeah. Offset eye for the Savages, two receivers. Weaver takes a snap, fakes the pitch, going to keep it. Finds a hole up the middle, Weaver taking it to the house. Touchdown, Savages. So Savages scoring quick here in the fourth quarter. Two-play drive right there and about 92 yards on the drive. <laughs> two that plays, 92 yards. Diamonds, even though they're up, Coaching staff still can't be happy with no, no, that kind of drive. Never. Savages has some players trying to get off the field as quickly as possible. S takes a snap, kick is up, and it's good. 8-17 left here in the ball game. Diamonds 56, Savages 17. Salasaw Family Fitness. 
a locally owned and operated Christian-based fitness center that takes pride in providing a clean, modern fitness center for Salisaw and all of Sequoia County. Come visit our 21,000 square foot facility and see our complete Cybex line of equipment, free weights, classes, and of course child care is always included in all memberships. Come check out Salisaw Family Fitness, helping people work to get the body they deserve. Salisaw Family Fitness is located in the Eastgate Shopping Center. It's Broken Bow team not giving up tonight. No. Still, still out there playing hard, putting some points on the board. Fighting. We're going to see Carr back deep for the Diamonds. Kick is away. Lewis with the kick. Carr's going to take it. It's going to run to the right. A lot of running room across the 35 up to the 40-yard line. Good return by Carr. Diamonds take over. 8.02 left here, fourth quarter. Diamonds 56, Savages 17. Tonight's game is brought to you by Diamond Net, your hometown high-speed connection to the world. Offering digital cable, telephone service, and the fastest Internet access in town, all brought to you by the city of Salisaw. Tonight's game is being produced by the Sequoia County Times. Call the Sequoia County Times at 775-4433, or you can log on to sequoiacountytimes.com and start your subscription today. Sequoia County Times, you can't afford to be without it. Diamond's back out here on offense. He's got a new quarterback into the ball game. Takes a snap, the give. Not much on the run for the Diamonds. That's Hunter Capehart playing quarterback for the Diamonds here. Diamonds letting that play clock. back there was a popping noise can't hear you can now yep you can't hear anything I, I can hear it it's loud yeah we're back here ladies and gentlemen Ready to start the third quarter. Diamonds in control, 35 to three. We'll see the uh, Savage Savages are deferred at the opening coin toss, and they will uh, they will get the ball here. We'll get the ball here to begin the third quarter. We'll see Rodriguez out here to kick. Tell you what. Footballs, flying shirts, all kinds of stuff happening over here on the Broken Bow sideline over here. Well, you're back. I am you're back. Made, We're ready for it. kickoff. Didn't know if you were coming back there. Technical difficulty, but I'm back. We'll see Patel take it, hesitate, cuts it back up the field, 25, spins up close to the 30-yard line. So the Savages begin there. 11.51 left third quarter, Savages. Get the ball here. Savages trailing the Black Diamonds, 35 to three. Tonight's game is also brought to you by Charlie's Chicken, where you can have an all-you-can-eat buffet seven days a week. On Fridays, enjoy their catfish buffet, and on Saturdays, their barbecue rib buffet. Charlie's caters for all occasions, dine in or drive through. It's Charlie's Chicken, home of the all-white meat chicken chunk. They're located at 720 West Cherokee, and you can phone them at 775-9816. going to get a whistle here and a false start. Receiver took off. McNeil took off running down the field and everyone else was, <laughs> everyone well, else was still set. That's their sneak 
trick play. I'll tell you what, I've seen more football flying and out of here than, than on the field. Give, they've had to give out 300 footballs tonight. Open the window and get you one. I might have to. There was an old spiral. Spyro? No, Spyro. Oh, okay. We're not, we're not playing the old Bulldogs tonight. <laughs> that one died there. Shotgun formation, three receiver set here for the Savages. Takes a snap. Weaver looks left. Gets it across the middle. Incomplete. Long punish the receiver there. Yeah, I gave him a shot Keep there. It. Make sure he knew he was back there behind him. You like that? Yeah, I'm trying to keep Ooh. it from falling out there. Let's leave it hanging right there. Okay, there we go. It's a nice night out here tonight. It is. Nice cool beautiful. night. Still throwing footballs up here. I think I just had 15 boxes of footballs. I think this may very well be their last home game of the year. I th actually, it? I believe well, it is. Well, they got to get so rid of them. they got T-shirts down That's here. That's right. They're getting unloading they got, all the gear. they got crutches. <laughs> Weaver with the keeper around the right side, not going to get back there. It's dropped for a loss there. Savage is having a tough time. Well, the old uh, Savage crowd thinning out a little bit here, too, as the second half starting. Yeah, it's muzzleloader season tomorrow. Got to get ready. Got to get to bed. <laughs> get up at the crack of dawn and get out there. So third and long, third and about 14 here for the Savages. Three receivers to the left. Weaver going to keep it on the read option, going to get smacked. Got hammered out there. About the 27, a gain of about four, three, gain of about three on the run, and that's going to do it. It's going to rank fourth down in a punting situation for the Savages. Good tackle by Hunter Reed that time. McNeil back to punt, gets it off, short, low punt. It's going to hit. It's going to be fielded by, looks like it was Thurber, but he's down. He took a knee on the on the, uh, on the the catch. So it'll be diamond ball on the diamond 38. 10.07 left here, third quarter. Diamond's in control, 35-3. to three. Go ahead and call us old-fashioned, but at First Star Bank, we still believe our customers deserve first-rate quality service day in and day out. We don't expect you to call and talk to a computer or a voicemail. As a matter of fact, we like to hear from you. We know our customers on a first name basis and we're not going to leave important decisions on your financial future up to bankers in another state. At First Star Bank, you'll find the old fashioned personal service that can only come from a truly local bank. We invite you to come in and enjoy banking the way it used to be. About the 30, about the 43. Gain of about four on the run. Yeah, for nice little pick up again by Scopus. Well, we've seen him run the ball pretty well in that first half. Yeah. Doing a good job on that option keeper. Yeah, he's really running with authority, really physical. Bring up second down and about six here for the Diamonds. Shotgun formation. Takes a snap. The give, Wilson lowers his head, punishes defenders as he runs up to about the 47. It's going to be really close to a Diamond first down, maybe about a half a yard short. He's wanting to. It's going to be third down and about a yard. Wilson wanting to give him another touchdown on the night here. Well, it's very possible. He's, he's been prolific here thus four, far. Four touchdowns this evening. Harris. Harris you know, with the, the only receiving. Other yeah. The only other diamond to score. Yep, receiving touchdown. Shotgun formation. Scopus takes a snap, going to run the option, pitches it. Wilson finds a hole across the 50. 45, switches hands across the 40, down inside the 40, Savage 40. Good pitch there by Scopus. And it'll yeah. be another Diamond first down. Nice little play call there by the Diamonds. Get Scopus out of the pocket. Run the option. Ball in about the 38. 
Savage 38 yard line. So Diamonds come back out here. Shotgun formation. Kofis takes a snap, fakes, rolls, looks downfield, has got a man. Richie complete inside the 25, 20. Still running 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Diamonds. Boy, 38. Yeah, Richie. 38 yard pass and catch for the touchdown. Richie showed some soft hands out there on the catch and then just rumbled afterwards. There wasn't any stopping him. I wouldn't have wanted to get in his way. I don't think any savages did either. No. <laughs> Job by Richie with the touchdown. We'll see uh, Rodriguez on to attempt the point after. Good snap. Kick is up. And it's good. 7.57 left here, third quarter. Diamonds 42, Savages 3. Wright Home Services believes it's more than heating, cooling, and electrical. It's a home and a family we're serving. We show our clients we care while providing professional, world-class electrical heating and cooling services in which we exceed our clients' greatest expectations. Call now for complete home heating inspection and tune-up. It's your home. Have it done right. Phone Right Home Services at Got a score to update for you. On that big Fort Gibson Cashaw Hall game. It was 7 7 at the half. It's the latest that we have on that one. That one figured it would be a close one. The uh, biggest game in District 4A4 by far tonight. And uh, a lot of implications for those two teams as well as your Black Diamonds and Poto in that one as well. Poto was up pretty big over Muldrow. Kind of as we expected. I think it was, I believe it was 28 3 at the half. Yeah. See Leffel and Patel back to return for the Savages. Kick is away. It's going to be Leffel. It's going to take it at his own seven. He's going to cut it back across the 20 up to about the 23. Savages take over. 7.48 left third quarter. Diamonds 42. Savages three. Scofus Law Offices are a proud supporter and sponsor of Black Diamond Football, and everyone there would like to wish Coach Benson and his players and staff another great season. If you have legal questions, give forth a call at 775-5546. Scofus Law Offices are located at the corner of Creek and Elm, just west of the courthouse. Whether you've been hurt in an accident, been charged with a crime, or have other legal needs, Forth and his staff at the Scofus Law Offices are here to help. Again, their number is 775-5546. Was a flag on the Savages there. Penalty against the Savage is going to move them back. The ball is going to be spotted at the uh, about the Savage 11 yard line. So Savage got a lot of field. Yeah, it was a hold on the kick return. Shotgun formation. Takes a snap. The give Ooh. McKinney hit in the backfield is going to lose yardage. I'm losing some yardage. Back to the seven, loss of about four. Richie, Tristan Brown back there. Sam Coulter. Guys doing a good job out there. Got Bailey Carter in the game, number 72 for the Diamonds, playing on the defensive line, playing the uh, nose tackle spot. Four, three receivers here for the Savages. Shotgun formation, takes a snap. Give to McKinney, not much. Mm -hmm. Runs right into a line of diamond defenders. Gain of a couple, maybe. It's going to bring up second and 12. Excuse me, third and 12 for the Savages. Yeah, that, that, that 4A4 matchup between the, the Commandos and the Tigers, big, big, big playoff big imp yep. implications there. Um, four, what? I mean, four teams right now just really in the race. Yeah. And next week, the Diamonds go to Muldrow, play the Bulldogs over there, and then Fort Gibson at Salisaw, the, a, and game. that is huge. This is a big game for the Diamonds here. The Diamonds are going to get their 15 district points in this one. Exactly, which is what you want. 
Snap, the give, McKinney running. Pretty good gain up close to the 15. We'll give him about, give him a few on the play, give him about four, maybe five, and that's going to be it. It'll bring it fourth down for the Savages. Fourth and about se fourth and about six is what we'll call it for the Savages. If that uh, if that Cashel Hall Fort Gibson game stays as close as what it has been, neither one of those teams are going to get we'll very get many district points either. Exactly. So that uh, that's exactly. that's what we need as well, especially concerning Poto. You know they're going to get their points tonight Which at Fort Muldrow, Gibson. So. Fort Gibson, if they lose, it'll be their second district. That's loss. right. Poto beat them already. McNeil gets the punt off. Hits, take a savage bounce into Diamond Territory where it's going to be downed at about the 45. Diamonds take over, 447 left third quarter. Diamonds up, 42-3. Tonight's game is also brought to you by the agent Mallory Martin Funeral Home, a family-owned and operated business since 1938. We take pride in being one of the oldest firms in the state, but also offering modern services and products. Please come visit our friendly staff and newly remodeled facilities. We are honored to serve families of Sequoia County for over 70 years. We offer contemporary options blended with traditional customs. Our family is serving yours since 1938. Diamonds back out here on offense. Scopus and company. Four receivers here for the Diamonds. Three to the right. Takes a snap. The give Carr in the backfield, running hard, a good hole right up the <laughs> middle and 30, 25, and Carr wow. is gone. That'll help your yards per carry average yes, right there. Indeed. Carr, first carry of the night for him, goes in for the touchdown. I don't know if anybody even got a hand on him, just yeah, ran they, right they by did, everybody. But he broke tackles. Wow. Carr showing some great speed. So Carr into the end zone. Diamonds approaching the old 50 mark here. This extra point would put him at 49. It'd be 49 to three, and Rodriguez is, excuse me, it's not Rodriguez kicking. That's going to be uh, it's number 18 out there. It's Edwin Caster. So Caster with the extra point, and it's good. 403 left here. Diamonds 49. Savages three. Perry's Office Supply, serving Sequoia County since 1978. We have everything you need to keep your office running efficiently. We've got it all from paper clips to computer supplies to office furniture. Well, you can even send and receive faxes at Perry's. Just go see Gus Perry at 205 North Oak. You call, that's all. He'll haul. There was a flag on the extra point attempt. The extra point was good, and it was a personal foul call on the Diamonds. So that will be assessed on the kickoff. Going to make Rodriguez try to work for his touchback on this one. Put him back 15 if, yards. If he kicks. Yeah, it looks like he's coming out. Going to make him work for it here. 49 to 3, Diamonds. See what savages are faithful to their old squad. Not many yeah. of them. Not many of them leaving. A lot of them hanging around. So Rodriguez is going to kick from his own, from his 25 instead of the 40-yard line. Might see another one of those short high kickoffs. Weaver, the quarterback, one of the, one of the second-level guys for the savages, kicked it to him earlier. I don't know if you really want your quarterback in there getting hit no, on the kickoff returns. But, you know, I think you just got to do what you got to do. You got to do what you got to do to get right. by. That's, That's what right. He is. <laughs> so, Rodriguez. Going to do some kicking here. We'll see uh, Patel and Leffel back deep for the Savages. Rodriguez. Deep kick, going to be taken by Leffel. It falls down on it. <laughs> That's a 20-yard line. Well, had a chance for a return. Had a chance, lost a lot footing. of room for a turn. Couldn't stay up. Savages take over on their own 20. 3.53 left here. Third quarter, Diamonds 49, Savages 3. Salasaw Family Fitness, a locally owned and operated Christian-based fitness center that takes pride in providing a clean, modern fitness center for Salasaw and all of Sequoia County. 
Come visit our 21,000 square foot facility and see our complete Cybex line of equipment, free weights, classes, and of course child care is always included in all memberships. Come check out Salasaw Family Fitness, helping people work to get the body they deserve. Salasaw Family Fitness is located in the Eastgate Shopping Center. Savages in the I formation, the pitch outside, Leffel. Gonna get tackled, gain of a couple. Tristan Brown on the tackle, good job that time. Short game. Shotgun formation trips right for the Savages. Weaver takes the snap, drops back the throw, looks. Pressured. Gonna get hit. Oh. Gonna get lose the football in the end zone. Savages can't pick it up. Who's gonna fall on it? Not sure. Diamonds say they did. Diamonds say they got it for it touchdown. is touchdown, Diamonds. Can't tell who came up with it. I believe that was walking, walking stick. stick. Sam Walking Stick came up with the loose ball. Don't know about the uh what the quarterback was thinking there, going down just I to kind of ditch it. I would Phillip Rivers and kicked it out of the end zone or something. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I, I don't really know what he was thinking there. He should have just ate it and went down, but good pass rush that time. That diamond defensive line all over the quarterback. You see Caster back out from the diamonds to tip the point after. Brown to hold. Kick is away, and it is good. 237 left here, third quarter. Diamonds 56, Savages 3. Salisaw Lumber now offers a complete line of Guardian fiberglass insulation to help you lower your home or business electric bill. Whether you want it blown in or batted, Salisaw Lumber will professionally install Guardian fiberglass insulation for you. Remember that good results begin with a solid foundation, and that requires the right materials for the job. That's why the pros and do-it-yourselfers trust Salisaw Lumber for selection and service. Tell you what, the old mercy rule needs to be coming into effect here, buddy. <laughs> yeah. What about that Greenwood Southside game? You got a score on that? You got a score on that? It was 28-21 at half last I saw. Southside on top. 28-21 yeah. Southside. Wow. Tell you what, that's I think that's the first time rare. Greenwood's been yeah. down all season. I think it's the first time they've been down since they weren't they down to Southside first game of the season 2012, 14 to 13 at halftime. Yeah. I think so, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I believe so. Kick is away level. Fields it inside the 10. He's going to run back to the right. A little running room here. Bounces back up the middle. Across the 20 up to about the 25-yard line. Savages take over. Two minutes remaining here. Third quarter. Diamonds 56. Savages 3. Whether your goals include college education funding, retirement planning, or reducing taxes, you've got options at First Financial Center. LPL Financial Advisor Marley Abel is committed to helping you reach your goals, whatever they may be. First Financial Center is located inside First Star Bank. Securities, asset management, and insurance products are offered through LPL Financial and its affiliates. Savages back out here on offense. I formation, two receivers. Man in motion is a tight end. Weaver, under center, takes a snap, turns, gives, McKinney. Finds a lane, breaks it outside. Best run of the night for McKinney up to about the 40-yard line. It's giving him about 15 on the carry. See what, Diamonds have bottled him up, the tailback for the Savages. Savages typically always have a pretty good tailback yes, every they year, do. you know, from Dawkins on. They usually have a big physical. A big physical one and a yeah. fast one also. Yep. And then fast receivers on the outside. Little different though, you know. Warner's not coaching here anymore. Coach True. Warner, he's at Poto, True. doing a good job down there. Doing a really really turned that job. program around. He's got Poto, you know, right there at the top of the 4A4 standings. I formation here for the Savages. Takes a snap, turns, gives. McKinney dances, finds another hole. 
Tries to get it outside. It's going to be wrapped up and taken down at about the 47. So let's give him about seven yards on the run. It'll be a second down and three situation here for the Savages. Great night for football. It's about 50 degrees outside here in Broken Bow. Beautiful weather. Maybe maybe it's a little lower than 50. Great weather. Missing our old buds tonight, the old Micus and Locus. Yeah, we are. They couldn't make the trip. They had to stay back and keep things running back at home. Offset eye takes a snap. Pitch, level. Cross the 50, 45. Finds a hole. A lot of running room. Long's going to hit him and knock him down at about the 20. So good job by Long. A touchdown saving tackle. So Leffel with the best run of the evening for the Savages. Ball's going to be down at the uh, Diamond 19 yard line. There's going to be nine seconds left here in the third quarter. We'll see if the Savages get another play. I believe he was out of bounds, so I believe the clock will stop. I don't think the Savages will get another play here before the clock starts back. Savage coaching staff down there yelling around at the yeah, old there. receiver that couldn't get out on the field. <laughs> You gotta put your old pat. You gotta put your old helmet on and get out there. You gotta get out there when eye they. formation. Offset eye takes a snap. The give level cuts it back up inside. Good carry inside the five down to about the down to about the two, and that'll zero point one on the <laughs> clock. So one tenth of a second. There we go. That's that'll gonna do it. That'll do it for the third quarter. As we go to the fourth quarter here from Broken Bow Memorial Stadium, Salisaw Black Diamonds fifty six, Broken Bow Savages three. Tonight's game is also brought to you by Charlie's Chicken, where you can have an all-you-can-eat buffet seven days a week. On Fridays, enjoy their catfish buffet, and on Saturdays, their barbecue rib buffet. Charlie's caters for all occasions, dine-in or drive through It's Charlie's Chicken, home of the all-white meat chicken chunk. They're located at 720 West Cherokee, and you can phone them at 775-9816. Go ahead and call us old-fashioned, but at First Star Bank, we still believe our customers deserve first-rate quality service day in and day out. We don't expect you to call and talk to a computer or a voicemail. As a matter of fact, we like to hear from you. We know our customers on a first-name basis, and we're not going to leave important decisions on your financial future up to bankers in another state. At First Star Bank, you'll find the old-fashioned personal service that can only come from a truly local bank. We invite you to come in and enjoy banking the way it used to be. Wright Home Services believes it's more than heating, cooling, and electrical. It's a home and a family we're serving. We show our clients we care while providing professional, world-class electrical heating and cooling services in which we exceed our clients' greatest expectations. Call now for complete home heating inspection and tune-up. It's your home. Have it done right. Phone Right Home Services at 866-607-2657. So the Savages will begin the fourth quarter with the best field position they've had about the two-yard line here. Yeah, best position they've had all they've night. Best position they've had all night. Offset eye formation, level, the tailback. Big snap to give to him, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown. Don't know how much I'd really be celebrating like that. No, but happy nonetheless. So Leffel gets in the end zone, and we'll see the uh, we'll see Lewis out to attempt the point after. Lewis, the only scorer for the uh, Savages in the ball game prior to the touchdown with his, with his field goal, 37 yard field goal. We'll see him out to attempt the point after here. Cubit will hold, kick is up, and it's good. 11.50 left here in the ball game, Diamonds 56, Savages 10. Scopus Law Offices are a proud supporter and sponsor of Black Diamond Football. And everyone there would like to wish Coach Benson and his players and staff another successful season. If you have legal questions, give Forth a call at 775-5546. Scopus Law Offices are located at the corner of Creek and Elm, just west of the courthouse in Salisaw. Whether you've been hurt in an accident, been charged with a crime, or have other legal needs, Forth and his staff at the Scopus Law Offices are here to help. Again, their number is 775-5546.
kick is away. It's going to be taken. I think that's Johnson. Back up the middle, a lot of running room across the 30, close to the 40-yard line. JoJo Johnson with a good return. So the Diamonds take over with good field position, 11-27 left here in the ball game. Diamonds up, 56-10. to Tonight's game is also brought to you by the agent Mallory Martin Funeral Home, a family-owned and operated business since 1938. We take pride in being one of the oldest firms in the state, but also offering modern services and products. Please come visit our friendly staff and newly remodeled facilities. We are honored to serve families of Sequoia County for over 70 years. We offer contemporary options blended with traditional customs. Our family is serving yours since 1938. It's going to burn a time out here. Couldn't get the play set up. 11-17 left here. Tell you what, stay with us. We're not going to go anywhere. Diamond's in control here. 56 to 10. Diamond's good offensive output tonight. I mean, just it started yeah, just it impressive. started off with a return, 92-yard ret kickoff return for a touchdown for Kale Wilson, and it just snowballed. Diamond did yeah. a good job. Wilson, what's he got, four touchdowns four on the touchdowns night? Four touchdowns on the night, Wilson yeah. Out of the car had a big touchdown run. Earlier, we've seen the Diamonds move the football. Richie with a big touchdown, 38-yard touchdown reception. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, Harris, Harris had the first diving catch in offensive, the end zone. First yep. offensive touchdown of the night. For diving the catch in the end zone. Diamonds just offensively doing it, scoring any any way you can. They're doing a good job defensively, also. Yeah, they played. They played good. I, I mean, they've got some reserves in now, and that's and you've seen Brooklyn go down the field, but no, that's I mean that's it. Diamonds just in control. Four receiver set here for the Diamonds. Takes a snap. The give, Hume going to get hit in the backfield and dropped. Not much on the play. May got back to the line of scrimmage. Probably going to see a lot of running plays here for the Black Diamonds offensively. Second and ten here for the Diamonds. Coaches are down out of the other press box now, so that's a good sign. Yeah, they're called it early. Called it a night early tonight. Diamonds, four receivers. Scopus in the shotgun. Takes a snap. The give. Carr running hard up the middle. Going to get stuffed. Not much on the run. Maybe a yard for Carr. It'll be a third down and about nine for the Diamonds. Call a third and eight, a couple on the play. Again, we got Muldrow on the road next week. That's right. Got to make the old long trip. Yeah. Battle of Highway 64 between the old Bulldogs. Bulldogs playing better, but they put but up some points. They put up some points. They sure give them up. They though. were down earlier to uh, Poto. Was it 28-3 at the half? 28-3 at the half. Poto in control there. Um, we'll try to get another. We'll try to get another score update of that Fort Gibson Cache Hall game if we can. Four receivers. Kind of hard down here. You got limited access down here. True. You're kind of in the middle of nowhere. Car down here. with a good what run. A run. Spinning up to the 45, close to the 46. Going to be. Uh, looks like he's going to be about a about a couple yards shy of that first down. But what a run for, for Car. Car. Came in, got his first carry, and, man, he <laughs> took blew it, up. Took it to the house. We're going to see Tim Davis, sophomore, punter in the game for the Diamonds. See Patel back to return for the Savages. Diamond's using every bit of that play clock here. Yep. Keeping that game clock running. It's under 10. We got 9.15 to go. Davis gets the snap. Pretty good punt. Yeah, good looking punt. It's going to hit, take a diamond bounce inside the 20, inside the 15, inside the 10, down to about the 7. What a punt. Good Savages punt. take over deep in their own territory. 8.57 left here. Fourth quarter, Diamond's 56, Savages 10. Perry's Office Supply, serving Sequoia County since 1978. We have everything you need to keep your office running efficiently. We've got it all from paper clips to computer supplies to office furniture. 
Well, you can even send and receive faxes at Perry's. Just go see Gus Perry at 205 North Oak. You call, that's all. He'll haul. What an outstanding punt by Tim Davis that time. Savages line up here in the I formation, two receivers. Takes a snap, pitch outside, level, finds a hole up the field. Chase Long dives, can't bring him down. 50, 45, going to get knocked out of bounds over there. At about the, uh, at about the Savage 37. Lane Binge finally chased him down, knocked him out of bounds. So you know, Leffel going to have 100 yards tonight, but, but did it with uh, late in the ball game with reserves in. Yeah. Offset eye for the Savages, two receivers. Weaver takes a snap, fakes the pitch, going to keep it. Finds a hole up the middle, Weaver taking it to the house. Touchdown, Savages. So Savages scoring quick here in the fourth quarter. Two-play drive right there and about 92 yards on the drive. <laughs> yeah, Two that plays, was quick. 92 yards. Diamonds, even though they're up, coaching staff still can't be happy with no, no, that kind of drive. Never. Savages has some players trying to get off the field as quickly as possible. S takes a snap, kick is up, and it's good. 8-17 left here in the ball game. Diamonds 56, Savages 17. Salasaw Family Fitness, a locally owned and operated Christian-based fitness center that takes pride in providing a clean, modern fitness center for Salasaw and all of Sequoia County. Come visit our 21,000 square foot facility and see our complete Cybex line of equipment, free weights, classes, and of course child care is always included in all memberships. Come check out Salasaw Family Fitness, helping people work to get the body they deserve. Salasaw Family Fitness is located in the Eastgate Shopping Center. This Broken Bow team not giving up tonight. No. Still, still out there playing hard, putting some points on the board. Fighting. We're going to see Carr... Back deep for the Diamonds. Kick is away. Lewis with the kick. Carr's going to take it. It's going to run to the right. A lot of running room across the 35. Up to the 40-yard line. Good return by Carr. Diamonds take over. 8.02 left here, fourth quarter. Diamonds 56, Savages 17. Tonight's game is brought to you by Diamond Net, your hometown high-speed connection to the world. Offering digital cable, telephone service, and the fastest Internet access in town, all brought to you by the city of Salazar. Tonight's game is being produced by the Sequoia County Times. Call the Sequoia County Times at 775-4433, or you can log on to sequoiacountytimes.com and start your subscription today. Sequoia County Times, you can't afford to be without it. Diamond's back out here on offense. Got a new quarterback into the ball game. Takes a snap, the give. Not much on the run for the Diamonds. That's Hunter Capehart playing quarterback for the Diamonds here. Diamonds letting that play clock run down. Yeah, these officials letting the game clock run down as well before they even start before the play, start clock, the play yeah. clock. It's going to be a good win for the Diamonds, good district yes. win. Kasha or Fort Gibson will drop tonight. We'll get another loss, one of those two teams. Nice job by Capehart on the keeper. He's going to have the first down. Good run. Up to about the uh, Savage 46. So good job there by Capehart. So, so Fort Gibson or, or Kasha is going to lose. One of them's going to win and stay in contention with the Diamonds and the Pirates. And the other one's going to drop to uh, drop to have their second loss of the season. Shot.
Shotgun formation. Four receivers. Capehart takes the snap. The give. Carr hit at the line of scrimmage and drop. Nothing on the play. Six fifteen left here in the ball game. You don't refresh there, buddy. We're going to get a, looks like an encroachment penalty on the uh, Savages here. No, there's going to be a false start on, false the start diamonds. on the Diamonds. huh? The old Savage was tempted there. <laughs> they were, but they didn't fall for the bait. So it'll be a second down and 15 here for the Diamonds. Shotgun formation for Capehart, four receivers. Takes a snap. He's going to keep it, read option. Still running, good run. He's yeah. going to gain about four up to the 47-yard line. Tough run. Five minutes remaining here. Third and about 10 here for the Diamonds. You'll have your old buddy Lock to ride back with you. Tonight. I know. I'm pretty You're sad, aren't you? Pretty upset about that, but it'll be all right. Four receivers, takes a snap, the give. Car. Boy, not much. Not got much. Gain of about a yard, maybe. One or two. Yeah, he might have got two. To about the 45, and that's it. So it'll be fourth down for the Diamonds. See, uh, we'll see if Davis comes back on the field to punt or the Diamonds will stay, stay out and go like for it. They're going to keep the offense on the field. Yeah, they are. Capehart over to the sideline to get the play call. Yeah. Diamonds looks like probably going to run the play clock down, get a timeout probably. They still don't have anyone on the field. And then probably punt the ball, drop it back a little bit. So what I would, that's what I would say. Sounds like a good strategy. And they will get a flag. They'll take a delay game. And I'll move them back, and then we'll see the punt team come out on the field. It gives him a little more room to operate yeah. there. And he has a little more space. You know, he can kick it down inside the 20 and let it get a good bounce. Think about it is Patel being back there. Probably fair call for a fair catch. Deep. First punt by Davis, very good punt. Well, it was a beautiful punt. Again, next week we'll be on the road. Long trip over Muldrow. Muldrow Bulldog country. Big game for the Diamonds. Diamonds will look to keep their uh, district record intact with only one loss and pick up some more points next week. Davis with a low kick. It's going to hit. Going to take a diamond bounce inside the 20 down to about the 14. And that's where the Savages will take over with 3.03 remaining here in the ball game. Diamonds in control, 56 to 17. Bow offense coming on the field here. Just over three minutes to go. Eye formation for the Savages. Two receivers, takes a snap. The give, Leffel. Still running, rumbling up to about the 24. 
good carry there. It's going to be close to a – looks like he's going to have a uh, savage first down. He is. Move about sticks. 11 on the carry. Kind of what we expected tonight. We expect the Diamonds come down here and, you know, overmatch the uh, Savages, yeah. and, and they did. They did every bit of that early and often. Takes a snap, the pitch outside, Leffel trying to get the corner. Does, good tackle from behind. Got the Diamonds, number 44. It was 44, that's Chris Kaczynski. Second down, and about three here for the Savages. I formation. Weaver fakes the pitch, going to keep it. Going to have the first down up close to the 38-yard line. Gain of about four on the run. First down, another one for the Savages. Minute 38 left here. Takes a snap, the give, Leffel breaks loose into diamond territory, 50, 40, 35. Drug down at about the, uh, at about the diamond 30. I tell you what, Leffel's had a good fourth he quarter, has. but. <laughs> Lane Binge finally tracks him down for the diamonds. Takes a snap. Weaver tries to weave his way outside. It's going to get stuffed at about the 28. Not much on the run. Gain of about three. Clock goes under a minute here. Probably one more play will do it. I believe the official is going to wait. There he starts the clock there, so 27 seconds. Takes the snap to give. Leffel tries to bounce it out. Good tackle there in the open space. Number 23. Tyler Smith. Out there making him a tackle. Good open field tackle. That was a good looking Tell tackle. Leffel a big, big bruising yeah. back also. Yeah, that was a good looking tackle. That's going to be the last play of the game. That's going to do it. Savages aren't going to snap another one. Good win for the Diamonds. Big district victory. Huge win. What an offensive output. Final score here from Broken Bow Memorial Stadium. Salisaw Black Diamonds 56. Broken Bow Savages 17. Stay with us. We'll be back with the postgame wrap-up show after a few words from our sponsors. Hey, Bob Famous here for Blue Ribbon Salisaw, home of the low price cars, where we're always leading the way to save you money on your next new or used vehicle. <laughs> you should always think of our dealership first <laughs> when searching for the best value on your next automotive purchase. <laughs> so when you're shopping around for the lowest price, accept no imitations. <laughs> Blue Ribbon Salisaw, home of the low price cars. <laughs> Was that really necessary? You're all right, buddy. All right, I guess. Got us. You did your job. <laughs> Again, final score tonight, Diamonds 56, Savages 17. What a job by the Diamonds tonight. Good offensive output. They got it going early. Kickoff return there in the first. I mean, yeah. first kickoff of the game. Wilson brings it back 92 yards. Next next possession for the Diamonds. Diamonds drive it down. Harris Derek makes Harris, a diving catch, catch there. About an eight-yard touchdown reception. Um, Wilson, kind boom, of the Kale boom. Wilson show Kale after Wilson that. Wilson had you know? three touchdown runs right after that. I tell you what, Carr broke one open down here. Richie had a catch, a big catch, and beautiful and catch, big yeah. catch and, and run. The run he after did. the catch, and the Diamonds just looked really good. Yeah, Diamonds um, cruise tonight. Looked really good. Looked That's good. what you want. Yeah, you want to you want to be scoring points and playing good offense. You know, this time of the this and time of the season. And you know the Diamonds, 
healthy. Almost yeah. every man on yeah. the team healthy, yeah. which is rare at this point in and, the season. And I tell you what, the defense really, really they, played good they tonight. Are. I mean, you, you see some mop up stats late by Leffel yeah. and the and Weaver for the uh, Savages, but, the, but, uh, but I tell you what, the first three quarters, no first string defense yeah, held them to a field goal defense. and that one that one good drive and they got a field goal and that was it. Other than that, it was shut down that after that. That was it. That was it. So good win for the Diamonds. Next week we'll be on the road for Muldrow. I tell you Muldrow. what, this is, this is it. This is the time of year where you want to start peaking, you want to start playing right. your best football. And the Diamonds, they're doing it. They're playing really good. Like we said, we don't have an update on the Cash Hall Fort Gibson mm-hmm. score, but one of those two teams is going to is going to fall tonight. Yep. And so whoever, whoever it is is going to fall to fourth. So and then gonna you're going to have three. a th- a three-team race and Diamonds kind of control their own destiny since they uh, since they beat right. since they beat Cash Hall. They got to win out. Um so, really, I could see three teams tying. Yeah, very, you, yeah, you very know, easily. And, and then, so then what they do is they go to points. Go to the district points. For, yep. your, for your first seed. Exactly. And then after that, for the second seed, they do head-to-head mm-hmm. from those two teams. So, so if that ends up Diamonds so and Commandos, then, you for, know. For second, yes. Exactly, if that yes. were to be the case. And, yeah. and going into this evening, from what I heard, Cashel Hall had the points lead. Yeah. Over Poto and over Salisaw. Agreed. They so do. So, you, know, it, you know, who knows? Crazy who, things happen. Who, who knows? Because, y- you know, you never know what's going to happen. Diamonds got their points this week. They mm-hmm. play Muldrow next week. There's a good chance next week if they come out and take care of business, they're going to get exactly. their points. Fort Gibson, that's a big win for them. And Fort Gibson may win tonight. We don't they, know. They may well. We don't know. But regardless, the Diamonds are going to have to step up that last game of the season at Perry F. Lattimore Stadium, and they're going to have to step up, and they're going to have to beat Fort Gibson. This is true. I mean, that's that's what it all boils down to because, they, you know, we don't have any control over any, what anybody else does. we got to take care of our business, and we're going to have to beat Fort Gibson on our home turf. Mm-hmm. Fort Gibson, a good ball club, and that is going to be a whale of a ball game. Mm-hmm. You can't overlook Muldrow next week. Like I said, they score a lot of points. They do. Dominic Blue, their and, and you, you know, a six quarterback. And a 6 and one district record to finish yeah. is a great district so, record. You know, Muldrow, like I said, they could score some points, but they sure give up a lot of them too. So if the Diamonds come out and just take care of business like they should next week, it, it's it's going to be a good finish. It, it'll be exciting next it week. It will. And then the week after, wow. I mean we got to get be it. We got to get everybody in town. They, to come they out might for have that helicopters one. coming down. <laughs> there and may well be airplanes and jets coming in. Yeah. I mean, it could be if Fort Gibson wins tonight. Yeah, it's huge. That's that's yep. a huge yep, huge exactly. game. So again, next week at Muldrow. I tell you what, Muldrow's not far. Ten miles Drive to the east. Support, Come on over. Support your Black Diamonds. We had a good, we had a good fan we base out here tonight. We had a good turnout tonight. Good, yeah. good turnout for the Diamonds. A lot of people came down, come down over the hills and around the old winding roads. And mm-hmm. we, we made it, didn't we, Jim? Hey, I'll drive <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair, buddy. We're gonna have to dodge the deer and the bears and it's the Sasquatches be, on yep, the way home. Yep, and the school buses. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But a good win again for the Diamonds. Final score: fifty-six seventeen over the Savages. Um, again, next week we'll be at Muldrow for Jimbo, Darren, Caleb. The old Chase Master was hanging yeah, around tonight. Yeah, he was. He's for all the guys, we appreciate what they do. We appreciate everyone at home watching. That's right. And, and listening tonight. We appreciate you guys listening. Um, without you guys, we wouldn't have anyone. We appreciate the city administration, school administration, for letting us do it. We appreciate Jeff sometimes when, he's, when, when he, he shows when up. When he shows up. When he shows up, we appreciate <laughs> him. <laughs> for everyone at home, hey, I hope everyone has a good weekend. For Clint, I'm Brad. We'll be at Muldrow next week. We'll see you then. Everyone have a good one.